Yo, ¿qué pasa, chavales? Hoy os traigo las, las últimas partidas, ¿vale? Que se jugaron el domingo en la SPL. Estuvieron bastante entretenidas, la verdad, por lo menos para los que nos tiene acostumbrado, por ejemplo, Valkyria vs Scarabs, ¿vale? Y luego también os traje probablemente uno de los mejores sets que se ha visto en la SPL. Eh, os traje Oni Warrior vs Camelot Kings. Así que nada, chavales, espero que lo disfrutéis. Nosotros lo disfrutamos bastante en el streaming. Si queréis verme, pues ya sabéis, los viernes, sábado y domingo sobre las... 5 y media, 6, suelo empezar el streaming y hora española. Y si podéis, pues le echáis un ojo para no verlo resubido. Así que nada, os dejo con el vídeo y nos vemos la semana que viene. Adiós. Bueno, ¿qué tal? ¿Habrá doble guardia o no? To second, and and I think something Ducky brings up there is important. You know, it's been no secret, uh, no small discussion around the the ping and the environment that the Valkyries have had to play in, and so things like Odin, and and that's one of the strongest picks in the solo lane at the moment. Something Ducky, uh, you know, by his own admission just now, doesn't feel as comfortable playing at an SPL level because of the environment that the Valkyries have to play in. You know, then that guy, I think, Miff might start to factor into picks and bans a little bit. Maybe something the Solar Scarabs don't feel like they have to ban away, but the Valkyries do feel like they have to ban away. There's there, there small little things like that that could make a difference. Uller, strong ban, and I think uh, we, we saw what Panda Cat was able to do on that pick yesterday, so no surprise that we see a ban here. Uh, and I think across the league, especially uh, Stewart, who, I, who has grown for the Solar Scarabs team recently, can play Uller. Hermano, si vienes en la partida que he perdido, tío, del puto clash, hermano. This makes sense. I was about to say that the Valkyries, if they don't ban Cerberus inside of this slot, would likely be forced into a situation where they have to take it first overall. As Ducky said, he thinks those are the two best guardians or two best gods, full stop, to play within the soul lane. So makes sense. The Valkyries go ahead and remove that one from the table. La cami gomba. Se lleva media hora puesta bien, cabrón. Uh, el Berilium, tú ves de ahora tarde al streaming. Pasa Molina. Bueno, primer Warrior para la solo, chavales. Odin outside of just uh, just the stun there in that kit. So there is still some power here for the Solar Scarabs to draft around. Specifically in the jungle, nothing identified in uh, in the first wave of bans here, so everything wow. on the table. Oh, Fafnir, though, for inbound. Miff, this is admittedly an interesting... No hay muchos jugadores de raza negra. We, Creo we, que no hay ningún negro más. Creo que solo está el Stuart, ¿no? But some other picks have started to... Uh, join the forefront of the support conversation. Raijin, a little less surprising, 70%. Or no, it's uh, yeah, 72% pick ban rate. Uh, so one less picked god here as of late. One very picked god for the Solar Scarabs. Yeah, I was almost expecting the Solar Scarabs to go to uh, sword something like a Tiamat and a Sylvanas inside of that slot, considering how you much like Bobby Sylvanas. likes that pick and how strong it's been since its minor rework, as well as the fact that Tiamat is literally just Tiamat. But instead, Fafnir and Raijin taken here. And maybe the, the Fafnir is a little bit of a nod towards the fact that Gungnir's might does afford your team a little bit of additional attack speed, as would Fafnir. So, don't want to deal with that double stack and just take it for yourself. Meanwhile, on the other side, Bacasura con Jotuns. They're not hiding too much. It's that low key signature wow. pick of Johnny. Sobek locked in for the support role, more than likely. Could even potentially flex between support and solo if they decide to send Odin over there. But this is a pick that uh, has been working out for Scream a little bit so far. One game of experience on it. Bacasura locked in and up against things like the Sobek. All right, well, Plux. Pretty hard to deal with. Might as well just cripple it out. Do some true damage. You're not worried about all that defense that Sobek gets from inside of his kit. Odin as well. A lot of his kit is revolving around being able to utilize that leap for the bird bomb. Can't do that when you've been uh, regurgitated upon. That's right. And, and look, this Bakasura pick is one that we saw yesterday in the Solar Scarab set up against yes, the sir. Jade Dragons. It won yesterday in the Solar Scarab set. Up against uh, the Jade Dragon, Scream looked good on it. Went more uh, uh, ability based, Jotun's, Crusher, Arendite, short bow there towards the end. So, you know, you're always going to build into attack speed just a little bit there. Uh, but this feels like, look, Johnny's on the other side, and Johnny made his name in the SEC on these hyper carry late game style picks. And so now the Valkyries have to play against it. And you imagine Johnny will know that matchup well uh, because of how much he has played the Bakasura in the past, though Scream. 
one of the best to ever do it, and he'll know uh, he'll know this matchup well up against the Loki on the other side. Second wave of bands roll through. Morgan and Soul take a seat, and so uh, mid lane and uh, and potentially Hunter taking a bit of a hit there for the Valhalla Valkyries, while Heimdall and Tyr both band away. And when SOT still needs a pick and Tyr is still there after My what we saw him dude. do yesterday, I think a pretty smart band here for the Valkyries. Que mierda, hermano. Es ese puto band, tío. Yo quería ver jugar, tío. Tiamat, still available for the Valkyries. Yo, Miguel, te has ido. But Zeros has shown a propensity in the past to not really enjoy playing that pick, so maybe we don't get to see that god locked in this time around as the Solar Scarabs take their first pick out of the second fan phase. Izanami locked in, and that yep. is a lot of lane pressure already is. for this lane. I mean, the, the kill potential with Fafnir just leaping in and setting up with a stun immediately into a dark portal is always going to be there, but as far as, like, levels one through five go, nothing really beats Izanami inside of that lane. She just... Kind of sits there and auto attacks. Una the puta china, right, we'll see you. what the Valkyries pick to, to maybe counter out some of that pressure. You, you got a Sobek, which helps in lane. You know, a good pluck can help set you up uh, for some fun. Ojo, una lure me gusta. Lane. On her might be a nice way to follow up on some of that setup that uh, Sobek is going to pick up there. But uh, let's talk about the actual lock in here, Mifflin. Chunga is going to get uh, drafted in here. Uh, for uh, for the mid lane, Ooh, for the me gusta. It's got a good matchup into both Raijin and. Ay, una puta terra, no. Fully commit to a fight. If he uses that Por favor, pia tu warrior solo troll. Entire time and Waltz kind of allows you to just dance your way out of there. That damage immunity as well as slow immunity. Ojito con ese doble warrior. But not just Bakasura. Raijin as well. When is he going to apply the majority of his damage? Has to put that Raiju on you first. Oh, he's trying blood to rock that. Maybe I, uh, twist. dance out of this one too. Just vale, Charlie, can you tell me blood? So, I think that Changa can work out. She's a very fight pick. You want to be constantly applying damage throughout the early game. Constantly yep. looking for that. Tenéis dos minutos, chavales. The healing in your uh, kit to just keep yourself afloat. If you need to be si able to support HP no. to apply that damage, but... There's a reason we don't see Changa super often. She's a very inconsistent pick. It's not often yep. that you're getting a multi-man ultimates two, three for get to get that full value. So we'll see. Zeros eh, no has got a lot of experience on this god. So Absolutely. if anyone can do it, it's probably him. Um, uh, Zeros has played some eclectic things out of the mid lane for the Valhalla Valkyrie so far. Not only this year, but this phase. It's two games ago, he played Neath. You got Thoth before that. And so Zeros definitely not one to shy away. From uh, some of the intrigue here out of the mid lane. Nike is the final pick here for the Solar Scarabs Mifflin. And we've seen Nike come back into the draft phase a little bit. Still not up top as far as priority goes, but something that we can start to expect maybe a little bit further down in the draft. Uh, how does Nike, do you think, fit into the team fight here for the Solar Scarabs? Looks like a, a good <laughs> like all-in commitment, no. right? You, yeah. you transform into the dragon, that means you're kind of hitting that go button. If Nike jumps in, probably hitting that go button. Bakasura is in the back line pressing ultimate, probably hitting that go button. Yep. So, it's an all-in commitment style spearhead composition from the Solar Scarabs up against the Valkyries who Espero que hoy sea el día de descanso de Doremiser, la verdad. No me apetece escucharlo decir tonterías. Kind of fall back on your heels and allow Chonga to act as that full sustain guy. Fight. So, if I'm the Solar Scarabs, it's Nike. Jump in there. Apply your slow. Let's chase out whoever we can. We need to get a kill as quickly as possible. Whereas the Valkyries have a couple of options going forward, but maybe not as strong in either regard. Their all-in commitment might be slightly weaker, but they also have the potential yep. to utilize that healing. You want the bad news or the good news first, Mifflin? Always bad news first. All right, so the bad news is we do have a remake, and so we're going to remake the lobby before we get into game number one. Okay. Uh, the good news is that you get to hang out with me for a little bit longer. Sick. Que van a hacer un remake, tío, perfecto, loco. ¿Sabes lo que significa un remake? Un class. Tells a different story. I'll have words with you back in the green room. No, we do have a quick remake uh, between the Valkyries and the Solar Scarabs, and we'll be right into game one here shortly. I'm interested in this Hunter matchup, though. We, we've seen plenty of Izanami. I think así. Stuart has shown us that he can show up on this pick, played it once against the Dragons yesterday, kind of got sat on there a little bit. So a good chance to bounce back here. On her myth has, has I don't know, been missing maybe? I mean, we, we've maybe seen it on her uh, a handful of times. What do we think about this pick? Why do we see him now? Well, on her does utilize that ability focus build pretty all right. Going towards the Odin's and a Crushers. I mean, you're going to deal a lot of damage with Impale and Desert Fury, that additional CDR. Ay, yo me tal tomar por el culo, tío. Si le dejo aquí, hermano. I think that it legitimately just fits his style. Me he perdido la partida, tío. Estupendo, tío. Este pavo se tiene que estar riendo de mí, tío. 
They they kind of just pop off inside of the duo lane. We saw Ho Yi locked in very recently, just diving in very aggressively up against. Bueno, ni peor. On her. Ni peor de qué. Fit that style. <laughs> El clash. <laughs> si puedes. Which is a distinct shift from what we saw in like phase one, right. or early phase two from this guy. It was a lot of Jingwei, a lot of Hachiman, a lot of Heimdall. Seems like the Valk ADC has found his confidence recently, and he's been looking Hope a lot so. better for it. Hope so. It could be a fun uh, duo lane. Do you want the bad news or the good news first? Uh, let's do good news first this time. Uh, you get to hang out with me even longer. No shot. Uh, the bad news is we are going to head to a quick break, and when we come back, ¿Cómo que quick yes, break? A little bit further before game. Esa gente, tío. <laughs> quick break, se tiran. Me quedo calvo y yo sé mi música, tío. Total, esta partida ya la he perdido, que más. Eh... Ay, Dios, no he visto que me ha tirado al, al, al monto, tío. Es más, es que así no se puede, tío. En plan, estando tan distraído no se puede. ¿Cómo, tío? ¿Cómo? Una torre central más un cañón más, más una... Más, un, más otro cañón. Y no defienden, tío. Mire esto. Y yo, Lucario, muchas gracias, hermano, por esos 12 meses bien sexys. No paro de perder. Me estoy alejando demasiado del cofre, tío. Bueno, pero esa partida la he perdido, evidentemente, por... Eh, por cosas. Por cosas externas. Ay, el puto dragón ese, tío. Y los bárbaros de élite, claro que sí, tío. Con furia, tío, claro que sí, tío. Y no me tiras la torre, eres un fracasado, tío. Ah, ni tan mal. Ni tan mal ¿Me puedes dar el doble elixir, por favor? Estoy pelado, tío ¿No te parece muy triste, tío, jugar así? ¿Y ese horno?
Me, yo me quedo para ti difuso, tío. See, here's the problem. It falls flat now because no, it does I, no, not. No, no, no. I'm, I'm about to bail you out if you give me a second. I don't need a bailout. I just I'm saying it. It falls flat right there because I'm purposefully not laughing. Uh huh. Not even purposefully. I'm not laughing because I heard, I heard a chuckle. You heard me exhale out of my nose and you couldn't a help little it. bit. And you've heard this joke 17 times and you still couldn't help but exhale. That means that this joke it's because it's you, actually buddy. popped off. It's because it's you. Hey, thanks. It's because it's you. Uh, Jithins is reporting that Chad is saying no, what I is, think. What, is, what does Jithins know about anything, man? He's running our show. Yeah, but what's he know about it? Well, our show is running, so I think that counts for something. Uh, Miff, let's I talk. Guess. One final thought here between these two drafts. Valkyries versus Solar Scarabs. You cover up the names on top. Do you like one better going into game one? Right, let me try. I'm going to cover the names. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I like the one that is a little bit more so in line with the standard meta, which is going to be the Solar Scarabs this time around. It just feels like as far as like ease of execution goes, their draft is going to be a lot easier to perform on. I'm sorry, Chad. I got Mifflin off the rails for like half a second, and now we've got it all day. So uh, we'll see if... <laughs> I'm only on the first set. Are you only on set one? That's right. Man, I'm sorry to me. I've got to go deal with <laughs> Mifflin. I'll go sit in the green room with him. Valhalla Valkyries versus Solar Scarabs. Game one with J-Mac and Gore. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not exaggerating uh, that we have heard that joke probably at least 17 times. I'll actually, no, honestly, that's the first time I've heard the full thing. Like, I've heard okay, the full I, thing. I, I, I heard, like, a really quick rundown, and Mifflin, like, laughed at it while he was saying it. But I haven't gotten the full, like, him saying he looks earnest, all that stuff. Like, I needed that that full effect. Well, there you go. You got the full joke. I've now heard it probably, I think, <laughs> I, I think 17 is probably not an exaggeration. It's been, like, a week and a half. He's been he's been working on it. But See, my problem is, I like, keep good not too. leaving here because it's just so much, dude, it's too <laughs> much effort fun. to get back to the green room. <laughs> Let's man. get back right on track. It's <laughs> J-Mac and Gore Miser. We got Doug on the camera. Game one for the Valkyries and Solar Scarabs. A big one for both of them. So far, haven't been successful to a win for either of these teams as far as sets go. The Scarabs have been able to take us to multiple Ooh. game threes against top five teams. Zeros is putting the hurt against Baronic on this Chunga mid. Sometimes people forget the kind of sneaky damage that this mage can do. It's not very often that we get to see this god at all. Yeah, and honestly, I think the, the only person I've seen play her consistently over the last little while has been Zero. Zero's really likes this chunk up. En el estudio solo juegan si si están todos en rapper making sure to make sure Emil can keep up on pace and this is one thing we've been seeing out of the Valkyries a lot. Si están todos en Emil seems to have found his stride and found his confidence and he's been able to pop up. Y evidentemente aquí no están todos en NA. Success has been coming from this hunter. He'll look to try and box against inbound. He'll push him away and leap back in from the dwarf man but not a whole lot more to be there. It's Johnny now tucked under the tier one tower in mid. And I'm really, yeah, interested to watch the duo lane as a whole. I think Fafnir, you know, has good setup, but so back, especially into honor. I mean, that's just an OG kill lane. Vale, hemos ganado, chavales. Ojito se puede ir, Blood, maybe. Spear ready, throw a right and impale him against. He's got to take some damage. Oh, Duke K. Strikes at first for the Valkyries, SOT. Ni tan mal, ni tan mal. Ojito porque Milito se mata al Inbowner también en la dúo. Solo todo voy a muerto. Ay, Johnny, que se me muere. Uf, huge start para Valhalla de Valkyries, eh. Get the kill, three up now for the Valkyries. Just a simple one, two, three punch. You overextend a little bit there on the Scarabs. You know, Solar Troll, I think, overstays their welcome as well. Scream goes too deep. And then SOT just tries to get too much, maybe too much tunnel vision trying to kill off Johnny, make it a one-for-one -one trade. I don't know what happened in the duo lane, but I can go ahead and bet it was a pluck into on her doing on her thing, because that is what this lane vale, chavales, is ¿quién designed se lleva to do. Been designed to do this. La primera Since kill de Scarabs. playable for any players outside of the devs. It has been the, the El solo barra jungla only o el medio barra like ADC her, barra support. A lot of similar Tenéis un minuto para apostar, chavales. Stuff. Here it's just a pluck that then lets up into ¿Quién se llevará la primera kill de Solar Scarabs? So el solo barra jungla o el medio ADC y support. Able to get this this early on as well. I mean it's not a crazy amount of pressure just yet. You can see it's still level 3 to 3 in terms of where he is versus Stuart it hasn't led to like crazy invades, but it is a great start for them just to be able to get things off, especially considering the track record for the Valkyries. Inbound has not left these two alone. I, I swear, every time I look over at this duel lane, it's inbound within auto attack range or the range auto attack distance of this duel lane. He is constantly in their face and unrelenting really 
with this Fafnir, but he's the one who took that first death. And interesting to note, it's actually Inbound who goes for the War Flag start. Yeah. Previously in the past, it's only been Raffer really going on this start, but Inbound decides he might want to try and take a spin on it here with this Fafnir. So curious to see how that will pan out for him. In the solo lane, we do see a Bumba's Dagger from Ducky, a little bit of extra oomph in the jungle for him, and maybe some extra damage later, whether it be that Bumba's Hammer or that Bumba's Spear that we've seen so popularized in SOT. He'll go for a Bluestone Penance, so just a little bit of extra wave clear, but SOT doesn't need wave clear right now. He needs help. Johnny is here, level five on the Loki. Misses the base of Gaffner, but SOT has that ultimate. Will he be able to get off in time? He will. The shield is good, but not enough. Ducky leaps ya he dicho yo, hermano, que esa partida la podían ganar los Valkyrias, eh? Ya he dicho yo, hermano. First off, Odin is just nuts, and, and it was really funny because when it was locked in, we'd even talked about it. Like Ducky didn't look happy yeah. about it, no. but still has. Y encima tranquilete, eh? Muy fresco el duque, eh? That's easily a double kill for Scream if that stun doesn't come through with how low no mana Johnny has and how low health Ducky is. But so you get a lot of good from the Odin in the damage, which is way better than the Nike's early game. But Johnny's also just nuts on Loki, and it's real easy to forget about it considering how often it gets banned against the Valkyries. I mean, all of Phase 2, it felt like that god was not allowed to be in his hands. It wasn't until, like, the very tail end of Phase 2 and, and in towards Phase 3 that Johnny finally got to go back towards this Loki, and he's looking good on it so far. 1-0-2 oh, and, and a 2-0-1 oh, for Ducky. And in fact, Ducky even man, said man, in the man, interview, man, I, Yo, I really like con esos ocho ocho meses bien sexys. You could have Muchas gracias, me, hermano. Two kills on the board for him, a three total just between him and Johnny. Uh, full and blue stone para un Odin. La verdad es nice que Duque está bastante sexy, eh. In favor of the Valkyries, just five minutes in. And that's again a good charge plus four bueno, kills. Bueno, Goremiser lo voy a tener que escuchar. I will say the Scarabs have a draft that. 10 minutes from now is going to run es muy inconsistente right? I, I think that this is if they get even just close es malo into a late game para estar o sea para el nivel de la SPL con para con los otros solos going to be able to take any neutral objective any 5 on 5 fight that the Valkyries step up to unless something goes catastrophically wrong for them someone's out of position which admittedly for the Scarabs has happened quite a bit over their no last few seconds or that somebody no. maybe makes a mistake or has to use some relics in, in an opportune time además ten en cuenta que la solo es el rol más estaqueado de la SBL casi todos son muy buenos but the easy blanket statement is that the Scarabs have a really great team fight draft and so the Valkyries are going to have to take this lead and just grind as hard as they can to get it as large as they can. Make sure that the Scarabs won't ever fight them on that equal footing late game. While well, Emil is trying to steal away that Harpy, may have forgotten there that Stuart is on an Izanami, so he can just turn himself over. And not only is he hitting the camp, but he can hit Emil too and also deal a little bit of damage right back at him. It's a crusher start for both of the Hunters. Interesting, considering Stuart really doesn't have a whole lot of ability damage into his kit. Just a little bit of extra attack speed, and when he does, land those abilities he can get a little bit more bang for his buck Johnny is joined by Zeros and Ducky trying to find Scream and Veronica yes, ulti, tío, the wall, make sure that Veronica gets out of danger but that opens up the greater scorpion for Ducky and Johnny to take and add a little bit of extra farm to their pockets Zeros will juke out the hammer from inbound and that'll make sure that the mid laner and Raffer are both able to walk away now, it is worth mentioning Scream did use his ult for that Zeros has dropped his ult as well so admittedly maybe going ult for ult but realistically, like Zeros, good setup ult, but Johnny's going to be able to set up a lot of his own kills, at least in a one on one target, until Raffer, or Emilito, I should say, joins the fight. I don't know that Zeros needs that ult, although for Changa, it is a huge chunk of damage yeah. that all of a sudden joins the fight. So it's Yo, Javi, muchas gracias, hermano, por ese Twitch Prime. Muchas gracias, hermano. I think they're going to have to slow their roll a little bit. ¿Cuál sea el rol que mecánicamente más está que de estar a SPL? La solo. I mean, Raffer. Maybe a little too deep there, trying to steal some back camps on his own. But he's going to be fine because he's a guardian and he's Sobek, so he'll be able to walk out. He has his ult. It's just that this little bits of play, even if it's a little experience that you can strip from the jungle, that's a small lead Johnny's going to be able to pick up over Scream. And that, again, grows into a huge deal. Fun fact for those at home who haven't seen a whole lot of Changa just because she's either not being played in your matchups or you because uh, we haven't seen her here in SPL. Let's talk a little bit about her ultimate because oh, you brought Chunga. that up. That waxing moon can be a major team fight turner, especially if she catches too many people in it. Every single person hit with that ultimate, the next person in line takes an additional second of that yep. stun. It's one plus one second. Si you have a good attack, Peter Warchi, seguro que ha sido muy bueno. People, that fifth person 
Ojito porque aquí se puede venir la first de los horas de cara. Try and get away or three on this left hand side, trying to pressure up that purple buff early on. Johnny will rotate over and help him. Well, the rapper is the one who needs Ooh, the help. He gets caught. Uy, se la roba the Stuart. And the Stuart will be able to finally put the Ojito, eh? the board. First kill up for them. Good news is it's just Raffer that falls. Bad news is is that's exactly what the Scarabs can do when they group up. And you don't Venga, have a lot to fight against it. I actually love this call from the Scarabs. Uh oh, call from the Scarabs. Ay, Dios, so como es posible, Scarabs tío. For a nice and easy gold fury. Johnny is here. He's Ojito, la roba Johnny, baby. Use it, try and go in and get aggressive. He will go in for the ult. Gets the stun, but inbound falls down. Johnny at least able to trade one, Vaya but it's a gold Dios. fury for the Scarabs. And trading your support every day of the week. Yeah, no, you're more than happy for that. Admittedly, you kind of got a two for one trade if you think Vaya about it. Johnny. Vale, chavales, siguiente piro para. Tenéis dos minutos para votar por el siguiente piro, chavales. Bueno, pues hasta aquí la partida para los Valkyrias. Ya van por detrás. In a lot of these team fight engagements, although that one me quedo calvo, tío. How strong that is going to be. And then how difficult it will be to retaliate against them if you're the Valkyries. Ducky gets to play the bully here on the right side of the map, stealing away a blue bro from SOT. So SOT doesn't get to have a whole lot of fun on this Nike. And Raffer doing the best that he can to be a disruption against Scream, but it is a Baka Sur, and he can just eat any of these minions that he wants to. He can eat pretty much anything on the map that isn't a jungle boss at the very least. Imagine, oh god, now I'm just having nightmares thinking of a Baka Sur just being able to eat like a Pyromancer or a Gold Fury. That'd be... No, I thought Fire Giant. Oh, no. That'd be... <laughs> I think it'd just be Maybe funny that's... to see the animation oh, for yeah, that. Oh, yeah, just not... to see it like, like ragdoll, like <laughs> collapsing <laughs> Just in the middle of all that, you, obviously there would have to be a different threshold. There's no way no you can get like a 25% Leonel. threshold against a fire giant. Just eat that. It'd be absolutely absurd. But Dude, it then, would be then funny. we start entering conversations of like hold hog and like <laughs> the like <laughs> Bakasura becomes top meta for his execute on objective. That would be nuts. That would absolutely be disgusting to watch. Inbound, he's going to get CC chained and absolutely disgusting Ay, CC chained by the team. He'll go up into Draconic form. Rapper look for the kill Man, on nice. landing, but it's Johnny Man, who picks it up. Six Good on the grouping. board for the Valks and maybe looking for more. Scream and Stewart both on the run. Level 11 from the Baka and the Izanami. A quick Ooh. old response from Scream. Gets him out of the plot from Rapper, but Johnny is waiting around. He's got the assassinate. Finds Stewart with it. The chops after. Ooh. Not good enough. And the dot damage after the stealth will not get the follow-up kill, but able to at least get the ultimate burn from Scream. They get, get a good kill on the inbound. They burn a lot of ults from the Scarabs. Admittedly, you also had to burn a lot of ults as the Valkyries to get there. Bueno, ni tan mal, la verdad, ni tan mal. It's very impressive to me. The beads not needing to be used by Scarabs. Podría salir mejor, la verdad. The engagement, but inbound didn't have to use his sprint or didn't choose to use his sprint. And Scream just with really, really lightning ah, fast reflexes muy alto. was able to ult and make sure he doesn't get plucked. I mean, things like that are really going to help separate a lot of these little engagements. But Falk. I like the fact that despite a Admittedly, difficult Para eso los Warriors con mejor late saludos de Paraguay. Eh... Really eh... 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 But also you have to admit that it's nice for Zero. That's the pen on me. Um, so that's going to be able to help keep his heart going for him. So far it hasn't amassed a level of anything more late, but I expect to see a little bit more pressure coming out from the mid lane for the Valkyries. You know, that's a good thing to bring up is that Zero is playing. He only got in the game who doesn't have to go back to base to get his own item. He can sit there and farm up, and as long as he has that mana, yeah, he's still standing there in the mid lane. That's the help of that rabbit, man. That rabbit used to take forever to get down those lanes, and then got buffed, and now it's a lightning fast way to get your items back online to get yourself some extra points. Now, the interesting thing to know with it is you can only get one thing at a time, so you can't buy multiple wards, you can't buy multiple potions and an item. You can only get one porque Leon quiere un coach, one item me das tú el coach ese donde va a ir. Can't help to make sure you can maintain some farm here in mid lane. I'm going to say what is probably going to be a controver controversial-ish statement. Okay. I think Chunga's... Ojito, 
Oh, we'll have to talk a little bit more about that after Zeus gets collapsed on in mid lane. He's diving back under his tower, but that's not going to be safe enough for him. Johnny Ojito. goes to get scream and the dad swipes for good. Esto puede salir bien para el Valkyrie, Maybe be in danger. Ducky is rotated over. The cage drops down. Barana caught in the middle with no leap and no escape. Bueno, igual mal. A ver si solo el torno mata al otro. Nice. Not enough damage going through just yet. Thundercrash not going to get him out. Huge thorns del Duque ahí. After ticking him away, those thorns pile on. That's going to be a two for one trade in the mid lane. Valkyrie's on the upper end. Oh, Raffer barely gets out of there. Johnny barely gets out of there. But out they are. Well, okay. Raffer is playing a little close there. Come on. Tang, you're out of there. Get out of there. He's going to be able to stay alive just fine. A really good retaliation from the Justo Valkyrie. Ya en el good chat, cage. Tío. As of right now, there's no Quiero hacer apuesta, pero no me salen. Solo para el subs. No, pero ya habrá pasado la apuesta, amigo. Tienes que hacerla justo cuando la ponga. No, Johnny, no. Uh, nice body blocks. Extreme tiene blink, eh. Stopping SOT in place, but SOT low on mana. Nice. Not much further chase. Get to make it out, but again, a lot of it thanks to Ducky just being this Dios, massive daño, front no, liner, cabrón. this two-level lead that he's been able to amass has helped him jump in the middle of these fights with really little to no care for anybody's life. I feel like Johnny has also spent, unfortunately, a lot of this game. I feel like it's been at half health or less. Right? Like, he has been living on just the edge, man. on the side of potentially going down. And Zeros is gonna have to be careful in this mid lane. Like you can see, yes, you've got good healing, but that damage from Barone. Oh, Saudin, no, es una mierda. No me gusta nada. Vaya. Or if you know, Scream just happens to show up after the, the initial burst of damage. So there's a little bit of pressure onto the Tonga already. You can see that despite that gold fear earlier, like gold has a necessity to control the other side of these teams. No? The Valkyries, if they can continue controlling that, that Oni Fury is back up. They do have a little bit of pressure to try and at least scoop it away. Man, I feel Ducky's paying there. He just wanted to take that tier one tower and SOT pops that barrier. He's going to try again the barrier. Will it be enough to push him away? He can't get to the tower. Poor Ducky. The minions will be able to take it for him, but man. Ducky is just being bullied by this barrier alone. Only Ojito a la gol, pero pensaba que se iban a hacer el piro antes, la verdad. Lines for the scares to try and stop this one. Raffer will get a pluck against inbound and throw him in the back line, but a quick leap out from the dwarf makes sure he gets out of danger. But the only fear he started up one more time by the Valkyries. Yeah, no quita nada, tío. Is that the fact that the Valkyries have beat the Scarabs at one point this year? Granted, they were in a wild, wild disarray for their their roster changes. But I know really it's something that burns, I think, for the Valkyries. Yeah, this is just such a risky call. Oh, Zero Ooh. goes in, finds a two-man ultimate. Now, Baronic has to use the beads and get out. Stewart's relics are also down. Ahora, Johnny creo. Creo. picks off Baronic in a back Vaya line. Vaya engage del puto Zinjo, es, tío. Me quedo calvo, eh. The cage drops to separate the fight inbound. Has to use the Draconic form just to try and disengage. He'll get a stun against Raffer, but the level Un 17 Ducky no. is here for the team. And now, right back to the Fury, the Valkyries go. And that's the exact setup a majority of their fights are going to need. Someone get the Beads or the Aegis off of the carries, and then Johnny come in and scoop them up in the back line. I mean, that is exactly what this draft is designed to do. Oh, no, Raffer! Raffer is low, and the ultimate from Tro SOT takes him down, and the Scarab yes. steal away. The Fury can inbound. Make it out with his life. He is living on a sliver of health. Making it back to the tier one tower is a big play for him. He's gonna get some healing back with the cords, and the leap is enough to get him out. An objective steal, a kill off the tail end, and maybe even more if SOT can close the gap on Johnny. I am perplexed by inbounds positioning right now. He wants to give assistance to SOT, and he will be able to do so, but that is such a dangerous game to be playing. And yet they still end up being able to walk out. I want to say slightly ahead. It's unfortunate you lose a lot. Y los escarab se llevan el piro mano. Perfecto, la verdad. It's overwhelmingly in your favor. You steal an objective and you're able to. Me quedo calvo, tío. Me quedo calvísimo, tío. As time went on, they just kept it so close to low, but no one has insane confirm at that point. The Valkyries need to to figure out their game plan a little quicker. This is something that you can only see happen by a Nike, is the fact that he's able to stand under the tower. Let's take a second look at that Oni Fury steal by SOT, that Sentinel of Zeus. 
kills Raffer immediately with it and then just turns over and slams a couple of damage with the barrier. Vale, chavales, tenéis un minuto para apostar. ¿Cuántas kills tendrá Johnny? ¿Cuántas kills tendrá Johnny antes del minuto? ¿Cuánto puesto? 23. Bueno, ¿cuántas kills llevará Johnny en el minuto 23? Es decir, que hasta el 2359 cuenta. Y he puesto 7 o menos. O 8 o más. Compas del chat, alguien me explica el CCR en los ítems. CCR es Crowd Control Reduction, que básicamente que te quita el tiempo de stuns. Cracks his knuckles, walks on in, and you as a team that has done this in the past, where you're winning a lot of fights, but you're losing the objectives. It's game one, phase one versus the dragons was a lot like that, where they're just slaughtering everything that's against them, and they were killing the dragons outright, but they were losing the map, and that's what's happening to the Valkyries right now. Inbound plucked under the tower, but not a whole lot of follow-up until Emil shows up and slams with a pillar impale on landing, but not much further beyond that. The Valkyries at least get to save their tier one tower that was under fire by the Scarabs. It pushes them back for the Scarabs. They've net themselves about a 1,500 gold lead over the Valkyries with the help of that Fury going down and the kills after. Then they were able to get a tier one tower as highlighted so beautifully there by, uh, by SOT, able to sit under tier one tower, hold barrier, si and just say, come on, I dare you to try and hit me because you're not going to break through this barrier. Your minions aren't going to do anything. Eh, I mean, no, los solares uh, caras son mejores. Si <laughs> <wave laughs> los Valkyrias, Valkyrias tuviesen menos ping, quizás sí que lo pondría por encima. Si, simplemente porque el de Zony con sin ping sería muchísimo mejor. Este fire huele, huele muy bien para Valkyria, la verdad. Yo creo que lo van a robar. Yo creo que lo roban. Ojito, Johnny. Uh, Hugh Chulti es el juez. Uh, de Zony que me pone la apuesta a punto, eh. Vale, pues esto es Free Fire para Valkyrias. O no. Granted, they don't then get three kills. Now they get the best of both worlds. They get three kills, maybe four, uh. if Sot gets caught out here. Yeah. And they should be able to get a fire Mira si lo que quita el Johnny, cabrón. Ojito porque si mata a alguien más en tres minutos, gana ahí la apuesta lo que ha votado para el otro. ¿Consideras esto la pelea de inválido de SP? Walk into the fire giant no. area. Hombre, a ver eh, Que son los peores de la SPL Sí, de ahí a que sea Pelea de inválidos, no sé yo Como lo robe este pavo me va a enfadar ¿eh? Menos mal and finally put themselves back in the lead about 2,000 gold to their name. This is a, like, that is a good fight for them where they're able to separate and, and string apart the scarabs and pick them off one by one. A great couple of kills. I mean, look, Johnny's seven, one, and four. Oh we've gotten Lord. this performance. When did that happen? Realistically, we've only gotten this performance out of him on Loki this year, and it has been so phenomenal to see. But if anything that Scream is doing right now is a showcase, Knowing that Bakasura could be in the meta, I think is also like a slight buff to Johnny all of a sudden, enabling him to Ojito le queda un minuto y medio al de Zony a ver que se cuece. Matar a alguien o no. Cuidado, eh. Doing such a good job getting to the back line. He's separating them. Stuart gets caught out first. Va a estar close, eh. Va a estar close. And then once you get rid of one, it felt so much easier for the Valkyries to just thunder forward and strip away what was then the rest of the game. So what up, Luke? Yo en el solo hard carry es like watching best love. <laughs> yeah, tricks was really, really bad. Vale, pues 
La verdad es que llamáis malos a esa gente, me pregunto si seguir jugando, pero es malos comparado con mi nivel, ¿sabes? O bueno, con el que tenía. Que ahora Snow. Ojito, ojito, le queda un minuto. Como nos haga uno versus uno o algo raro, va a estar close, eh. Va a estar close. Si los dos se van para el medio. No sé si le va a dar tiempo, eh. Va a estar close, creo. Ello, que es el 23-59, loco. He dicho, de, o sea, en el, en el 23, no antes del 23. Le quedan 20 segundos. Mano, no para de perder las chanclas, tío. Pero como que ya empiezan los robos? ¡Si lo he dicho, cabrones! Es en el minuto 23, cabrón No antes Pero vamos, que tampoco va a hacer nada Pensaba que sí que le da tiempo a hacer algo más Arbitro comprado Vale, chavales, tenéis un minuto para votar. ¿Habrá GG antes del minuto 30? ¿Sí o no? Ay, qué hostia le he dado el micro. ¿Habrá GG antes del minuto 30? ¿Sí o no, chavales? Porque esa teamfight está claro que la van a perder Bueno ¿Qué he dicho? Clarinete, vamos Clarinete que iban a perder la teamfight <risa> Ojo, Emilito. Oh, que es ese puto pilar de yo? He's not done. All that bullying that Ducky's done him in solo lane, SOT is out for blood. I mean, and, admittedly, this is something that I think they could continue chasing. I don't know that we see a kill come out of this specific play. Although I think Solar Patrol is not going to stop until he finds out. At this point, look, right here is where I start to draw the line. You need to start pulling back. Respawns have come through from Johnny, Zeros, and Raffer. And yeah, that's really going to be the call. You do have Scream and, and Stuart back in the Iza. Fire Giant's going to be coming up in, well, like 30-ish seconds. So you need to get the regrouping going. This is a good chance to back and reset. Relics are burned widely across the, the teams. But I do have to look at Veronic having his Aegis and specifically Zeros having those beads. A lot of things that can be very helpful for those team fights. But there's no Phantom on the side of the Scarabs just at all. So no. any good Odin cage from Ducky. Admittedly difficult to keep everyone locked in. Most people have a leap that's gonna get in fact all of them have No, a no es 30 59. He puesto antes del 30, ¿no? GG antes del 30 es 29 59. Nobody did. Nobody could. He steals Odin's voice line. The come fight me, but it's just solo or Come fight me, says the Nike. I'm going to lead my team to the victory at this at this Phoenix fight. A ver, que lo que... Debería estar close, la verdad, porque se tendrían que empezar el fire. Ya, un piqueo ya o algo, ¿sabes? Me quedo calvo, eh. Me sigue quedando calvo con Firjoe, eh. Me estoy quedando calvo con Firjoe, eh. Ojo, va a estar close, eh. 
that. 5 0 and 7, Ducky has been a huge part of this, but that fight is gifted by Zero. Such a good set of stuns and then good kills. To get rid of Baronic and Stuart first makes things so much easier. And it's gonna be a Titan defense. Va a estar close, eh, porque no sé si van a poder finishar. El screen tiene ulti. El primer muerto. That's one already for Scream, but he's down to half health. Gets Ojo. one slammed against the wall and has to leap away. Titan not taking a whole lot of damage. Inbound is dealing with zeros and doing Ojo, a good job. Ojo, segundos. Cage comes down, Scream. Ojo, ocho segundos. The they just can't find it. The Valhalla Valkyries looking to take down Ay. number one Ooh. against the Solar Scarabs, and they do so. A 28-minute win. And the Valkyries get it. If they were pues able to burn zeros just chavales. slightly faster, Look, Scream's there. He's got good damage, low health. Gotta, gotta give that credit. But Baronic just respawned. Me quedo calvo, I'm starting dude. to get a little nervous yeah, <laughs> if I'm the Valkyries there. right there. But luckily for them, again, they have the damage necessary. Que free, no? Que free. A great fight, a great initiation from Zeros to start. Ah, puede ser ya de 5 minutos. I don't anticipate eh, vale, to be que pongo. That is something that you have to plan for now, knowing that Zeros is willing to pull it back out. It looked really good alongside Johnny's Loki, and those two being back in their stride, it is a lot more reminiscent of what we saw at the beginning Loki of the game from this team than anything we saw in Phase 2. Just a dangerous ultimate zero save with vale, Chavez, with Johnny right in the tail into the game. Now we're going to take game number one. We're going to take it to a break and get a little bit of a rest after that, and we'll bring it right back to the desk right after. Vale. Pues un poquito de clash Tremebundo, la verdad Tremebundo, eh Ay, Dios mío. Y me da dos, tío. Y me da dos. A esa torre huele muy bien. Vale, esa torre está tirada. ¿Qué es esa torre infernal, loco? YOLO Nice No Ay, me lo revienta, tío Joder, tendría que haberla puesto detrás, tío. No sé si es que no tiene nada para defenderme el... El monta. Ah, bueno, tiene la torre. Never mind. Torre que no tiene. A ver, me ha tirado el mega gay. Chilling, chilling. Vale, menos mal. Podré defender 20 segundos. Qué buena defensa, cabrón. ¿Dónde va, chavalote? Tranquilete, eh. Tranquilete, eh. Me he cagado, tío Cambia de mazo Que soy muy malo, tío Con otro mazo En plan que no tengo cartas Que son una mierda Mierda Joder, no me da tiempo a otra
Creo que tiran mejor flechas por zap. Ya, pero es que la flecha la tengo a 5. Bueno, no me tocan flechas, sí o ni para atrás, loco. Es acojonante. Powered by our friends at Alienware after a 1-0 start to this set for the Valhalla Valkyries. For context, the Valkyries have not won a game. Not only a set, but have not won a game. Cada yo era el 12, tío. ¿De dónde ha salido mi compa, tío? When Slaney was subbing in and have not won a single game since then. So this is very impactful. Some, some growth now for the Valhalla Valkyries. And it's powered by our friends at Alienware. The SPL is, but it's furnished. Clothing and jerseys and all that sort of fun stuff by our friends at Insight Apparel Company. And what a season to have these joggers come out in, huh? It's fall time. You want to be at home, nice and cozy, watching the SPL. Son una mierda. No lo compréis. Now with your favorite, what is that? Your hip, I guess. Your favorite team on your hip at shop.smiteproleague.com. And if you're going to be sitting at your desk gaming or watching the SPL, why not pair it with a nice mouse pad? The Valkyries mouse pad actually looks pretty sweet. Maybe I'll go home and buy one. Thanks to our friends over at Insight. And shop.smiteproleague.com is where you want to head to pick up a set. Is it a set of joggers, Myth? Would it be a set of a pair of joggers? I, I like a pair of pants. I imagine the pair of joggers is the same thing. You know, I've always had some issues. Ay, yo de verdad, tío. Es que porque soy tan gilipollas, tío, jugando esta mierda. Es que soy imbécil, tío. You buy pants, and if I'm not buying a pair of pants, is that two pants? Why is it plural? Why are we? Nobody's buying singular pants. And that. And that's my Type 5. Your what? My Type 5. The hand sanitizer bit immediately into the pant joke, and then yeah, I transitioned it. Yeah, got it. Yeah, it fantastic. Into airplane Miff, Miff, oh, no. we, oh. we have to give every aspect of, of credit to the Valhalla Valkyries, so I'm not oh. going to let you derail. I mean, totally you who derailed this, not me. I had no hand in that. Look, the Valkyries, we've, no seen, we've seen these types of games from the Valkyries, haven't we? For like the first half, and then it's a team that has struggled to close out these games. Ay, Julio, tío, de verdad, muérete, tío. Que te entre sida y te mueras, tío. There was enough lockdown and damage to give the Valkyries a great shot and a win here. Qué malo eres, tío. Joder, loco. Had it been just about almost any other team, and I'm gonna be completely candid here, wiping on Phoenix and not being able to pick one up, probably would have spelled just about the beginning of the game. Bueno, primero que se le ven las cartas y esas copas. Que yo chulte decir joder. No piensa meterle nada al Clash Royale, nada de que de dinero, no. O sea, que eso, eso no, que porque metas 100 euros no vas, ¿sabes? Meto 100 euros y qué. ¿Sabes? Luego son otros 100 y luego tengo que meter otros 1000 y luego 10.000. Y ahí quizás, si meto 10.000 euros, ahí quizás sí que tengo ya las cartas al máximo. Los cartas son tan cringe que asco poder entenderlos. <risa> yo, he, yo he podido, o sea, yo los, yo, los, yo los estoy oyendo, pero no los escucho, ¿sabes? He desarrollado la habilidad de, de poder eh, ignorarlos en su estupidez. How they've thrown sets that they should have won up against the Titans and the Kings and the J Dragons, some of the top teams here in this league. You have to then win a set like this up against a struggling Valkyries team. Yeah, I think that even earlier on in the in the in the week during the waiting room, Agro went on to say that if the Scarabs want to be considered a contender for a top team, they right. should have beat the J Dragons, right? That's the only way because they're running out of net teams now to play against that are in that top seed, but. Uh, the the solar scarabs are becoming dangerously close to what I would consider clowns. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it completely candidly. Hoy no escuchar la vida de muchos años de entreno. Yo la mastericé, tío, en every single game was winnable. We threw en, this that or the other excuses En ciertas clases, la verdad. Como por ejemplo en física. A team that keeps talking and not getting any results. I think it only be described as Física y química, ellos de toda vida, ¿sabes? Que, que te enseñaban la tala periódica y esas mierdas. Que me importaban una mierda. Porque luego al final fui a letras. Pero ahí sí que, ahí, yo creo que ahí masterice la, la técnica de, de escuchar, o sea, de, de oír y no escuchar. Para meterle dinero en una cuenta Mejor compras una Y yo que no voy a meterle dinero a nada En plan que me he comprado el pase Y me seguiré comprando los pases 
porque lo rento con un streaming, en plan, con un sub y ya está. Could be a 2-0 set going the opposite direction from the way that all of us voted. So the Solar Scarab's up against it here. And got to make something happen in game number two. Kepri will continue to be prioritized. Band out first. Bueno, a ver. Habrá Loki Bang o no, chavales. Habrá Loki Bang o no. Me pagas el pase. Eh, suscríbete. De una sub te sale el pase. Bueno, de dos. Son cinco pavos. Bueno, cuatro. No, tres noventa. Tres noventa. 399. No sé. Vale, chavales. Tenéis 5 minutos para apostar por la first. Tenéis 5 minutos, chavales. ¿Por qué Silvanus de repente es top pick? En plan, ¿qué está hablando el Mifflin? ¿Qué estamos apostando, Julio? ¿Quién se lleva a quién de la first? No, que quién se lleva a la first block. ¿Solar Scarabs o los Valks? I think that that is a good game plan if there isn't a whole lot of meta still available, right? Sure. And there still is a whole lot of meta still available for the Solar Scarabs to go towards in this next phase, where they've already established an incredibly strong first pick inside of Cerberus. So, the Valkyries might hit pay dirt here with this uh, kind of wait and see strategy, but generally when you're waiting to see what the opposition's going to do, that means you've allowed them to play the well, game. O sea, sí que me gusta, pero no quiero ver al Emilito jugándolo, en plan... No sé. Como que no, la verdad. Have figured out how to play around this, but it's it's that potential, right? The ceiling, the 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 possibility that Tiamat brings to the mid lane as far as taking a game over. Uh, certainly very strong. Morgan was hovered by the Valkyries as far as that first pick went. They ended up opting for Heimdall. El Bayern ha perdido con el Bayern ha perdido, tío. Una Morri con ping, hijos. No sé yo. Plus Morgan there, Miff. I I think a combination. That could provide some potency here in this matchup, especially considering how great some of the transformation options already are for this Morgan. Sí, Cerberus, Terra, sabía muy bonito, picha. Pero phenomenal team fight tools to have on your side, and the Valkyries certainly going to have some targets that they're looking to one shot inside of these fights, namely Tiamat. Maybe easier said than done, but if anyone's capable of doing it, it is going to be. Quien se muere primero en bone de Rafer. Hombre, ya he metido ahí para el first blood, pero vamos, está claro que los dos son un cachondeo. Pero bueno, y Raffer siempre tiene todas las papeletas, ¿no? Aunque bueno, quién sabe. Quizás sin bonus se pilla un Silvanus y se meta ahí en mitad de la jungla, ¿sabes? Puede ser. Demanded of excellence if they want to win. And I think then, you know, to your point there, Miff, makes some sense what the Valkyries end up banning out with their next two. Sukiyomi and Bastet both taken away. Me paseito. Ojo, un Hercules. Me gusta, me gusta. Hercules locked in here, and I'm gonna assume that's for Ducky. And I think it's a pretty strong pick. We we've seen the aggression from a pick like this for. Kumbas, buena transformación también para Morri. Un Hachi, bueno. 
Feels like the setup Ooh. is pretty clear here. The team fight looks pretty good for the scares. Ostias, Johnny con Thor, con Pin. Cuidado, eh. That Earthen Fury to apply a heal to your team, but mm. Terra and Hunbots together has that similar strength, and that if you are using the Terra ultimate aggressively, ah, que bushi, Johnny. Every single time without fail. Which is why I think we see a little oh, bit of a inside of the Robin. Me deja con la miel en los labios. Inside of the Valhalla Valkyries. If you're on time with it, overhead kick might just get you out of some of these sticky situations. Especially against things that are as telegraphed as Earthen Fury right. and Fear No Evil. Well, Miff, we, Heimdall got locked in first and we raised our eyebrows a little bit with, with how much was still available as far as meta picks go for this Valhalla Valkyries team. Now we have the... the the ability of hindsight, we get to look back or, or yeah, look back at the draft and see exactly what got locked in here. You add a Morgan, Hercules, Robin for your final three. You're a little bit more comfortable now with, you know, you, you take Heimdall first, but you're able to still get the rest of this draft. Is that at least to give you some comfort here for the Valkyries in game two? The Valkyries have a draft that can work, but it it's so hard to play around, man. You don't have too much AoE damage. The Morgan generally yep. single target. I mean, your CC setup is good. You've got two ways to displace, both with Pluck and from Hercules as well, the pull punch combo. Robin going to act as a bridge inside of the early game, but if I'm evaluating these drafts holistically, es un pick, I think man. the Solar Scarabs come away with a much, much, much better composition. We argue the same thing in, in game one. And, you know, siempre está having muy the bien. better comp, it gets you into the game. Right. You then gotta get into the game and execute things uh, down the stretch. I think Nada. Tiamat versus Morgan could be a pretty interesting uh, mid lane matchup here. But I think Hunbats versus Robin, and we've talked about Johnny versus Scream as, as maybe one of the, if not the most important matchups here in this set. Something a little bit more active in the early game now on this Robin, you know, you could farm up a little bit. ¿Quién quieres que gane esta partida? Hombre, la partida anterior la han ganado porque el de Sony tenía Loki y el Finjoes estaba jugando de locos. Eh, yo creo que esta partida la van a ganar solo a ¿Cuál es el pick secreto de Sony para el Mundial? No tengo ni puta idea, la verdad. Cuando Blossom pasa esa etapa de definición va a estar uff. Yo no sé cuánto lleva en bulking, la verdad. Pero sí que no... O sea, está súper rocoso, evidentemente, pero... No sé yo si va a pasar a... No sé si va a pasar a... A la fase, ¿sabes? Right, and the pick rate's still somewhat low here. I think five is what we've seen up to this point. So this is. ¿Qué haces viendo esto si te bañaron un portóxico? Can the Valhalla Valkyries win up against the Solar Scarabs? We call it a must win for the Scarabs, and they must win in game two to push us to a game number three. ¿Y tú por qué me estás viendo a mí si te bañaba en mi streaming? Para no, por favor. 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 With their backs against the wall yet again, the scared. Bueno, a ver qué lo que, chavales, a ver qué lo que. Me gusta la team con de Valkyrias, entre comillas. Bring the action, and man, what a composition that the scares are able to run away with. A Cerberus top pick for a solo lane. You get who? But you don't want to see him. His return has been on fire recently, specifically Captain Twitch. Si hay gente tío que, o sea, yo siempre lo he dicho, hermano. A mí me daría muchísima pereza ir a, a tirarle mierda a alguien cuando si, le, si yo de verdad odio a una persona o no me gusta lo que sea, hago todo lo posible para no tener contacto con ella, ¿sabes? Y de repente, tío, a mí me viene peña, loco, a que... Que no, a la que no le caigo bien, me odian o no sé, le estén, me tienen envidia o no sé. Y, y me vienen a poner comentarios raros. Cuando yo haría exactamente todo lo contrario y creo que cualquier persona normal también lo haría. Pero bueno, como es internet y aquí es todo muy anónimo, pues supongo que le dará exactamente igual, pero vamos. A mí es que me daría muchísima pereza, la verdad. Ojito, Borgoni huele fatal, eh. Y esa puta bitch. ¡Uh! ¡Jonathan! ¿Sabes para Valch? Bien chilly. Me compras un chicle, no, lo siento. Oh, yeah. first few minutes, which was a wild swing to be able to pick up. At least you stem the bleeding comparatively. And I will, you know, I have to throw it out there. The Scarabs will be the first to admit it. They, uh, they are not good in game number one. Don't know why. Still trying to figure that one out. We have our top scientists on it. But I have no clue what it is about game number ones and the Scarabs. They just don't mix. 
And so this should theoretically be a good game for them. This is a good start. Great pluck. Ooh, inbound in danger. Doesn't have his dash available if Raffer and Vale, chavales, os dejo la siguiente apuesta. ¿Cuántas kills tiene Johnny en el minuto en el minuto 10? Es decir, en el 10:59 todavía contaría. I think it was actually even inbound who put it out on Twitter yesterday. It said something about tres o menos o cuatro más. Somebody let me know and maybe somebody needs to let Scream know just how much damage Johnny can do. But now that he's in the game, he's going to be able to play with Mike. Never mind. 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 Never mind
was already ludicrous for them. But now being Cheekies. able to isolate and kill off Johnny, it, Johnny is the linchpin, it, it has felt like, for this team. And there's still a lot of room for that to, to continue being the route. But if they keep this pace up eh, with the Scarabs, then we're going to see a much more large siento, gap between these two in about five minutes. And then they should be able to just start rolling with the punches and really finding themselves a win. Lo siento, había que meter a mi mejor amigo. Perdóname, amigo. Ah, pero ya te puedes meter, Dani. Le he puesto que en algún momento haré un, un segundo clan. Eres pelocho. Dani, eres pelocho. You transform once sí, and you vale. do not get any benefits from your first A ver, ver perfil. Uh, tiene la princesa, me gusta. Bueno, pues ahí te vas a quedar. O sea, ha dicho 48 y literalmente pensaba que era el Miguel. Y digo, pero este es un normal, ¿ok? And so far, Zerus has been really quiet. I mean, I, there have been quite a few moments where I expected a bigger rotation from him. That hasn't happened. And a few moments where, you know, he's just been shy of getting the damage done or the stun gets beats out before he's able to really follow through. And so I'm going to keep my eye on this Morgan just because I, I feel like it has so much potential built up behind it. But if we actually get to see any of that is a different story. It's a 1500 gold lead for the scares they've been able to amass themselves. Y yo Miguel te ha sido te ha sido ya. Es que huele a pollo, eh. Huele muchísimo a pollo, eh. Hands of scream but he's been a part of all four of them so keep your eyes on the jungler for the scares. Hacer otro clan que no tengo. Eh ya pero es que me tendría que crear otra cuenta. Level 10 compared to level 8 Robin Johnny has not had that same level. Eh me vais a hacer jugar con dos cuentas a la vez, tío, no me toquéis los huevos, ¿no? Ay, Dios mío. No es para subs, es para cualquiera que haya leído mi, mi chat. Crea otro clan y deja un sub de líder. No, un sub de líder no. Dejaré a... Necesito a mi mano derecha o algo. Ojito porque Johnny puede llevarse una kill más aquí, hijo de la apuesta, eh. Cuidado, eh, tiene ulti. Does have his ultimate available, uses Ay, to disengage no. inbound, dashes in with four Ay, toda la puta penda, toda, toda la puta banda, tú. There's no reason why you shouldn't be running away. Johnny used the tier one tower as safety, but with four scarabs on his tail. Not sure if this jungle is going to make it out or a kick is good, but not that long enough to save Vaya. his life. Scream will grab and extend the scarabs kill count to Yo soy tu mano derecha, Julio. Is, again, pero es que tú es súper regalada. Only lose SOT in that and... You've got Scream sitting at 6-0 and 1. I don't think you are sad about anything that's going on nope. right now. Scream. Eh, me vais a hacer jugar con dos cuentas. With these Fear No Evils, especially one coming back up. Gold Fury's right around Ooh. the corner. This is a really good position for the Valkyries, or sorry, for the Scarabs to be in, especially since they're looking to collapse on Emil. Emil in danger. He'll have to use his beads and a quick buy Ay, to get himself out. He'll go just far Se le puede hacer daño en mitad del Bifrost? No, no. Who's in a bit of a sticky situation. He'll get caught out by the root and he'll dash towards the tower with no where to go. Might as well just fight at least go down Una cuenta cada mano. Bueno, cuando me llegue el iPad que me compraba vuestra salud, eh, ahí me lo pienso. Tengo una cuenta en el iPad y otra en el Uses his own ultimate to immune SOTs, but SOT. Y otra en el de esta. Time, there was two of them. Might need the extra help to get the kill. Ducky will dash away, and now with backup from Johnny, SOT may be the one turned. Ojito, Johnny, porque que le quedan tres segundos. Ojito, Johnny, le quedan dos segundos. Not even necessary. It's just the damage. SOT. Vaya por Dios. Over that wall, Johnny will room in place. A good prana onslaught. The beads keep him from going down too much further. And a fear, no evil scream is back, and goodbye, Johnny. All right, so good news, bad news time. Bad news. Okay. Uh, screams 7-0-2, and, and you just flounder to kill, uh, unfortunately, against SOT. Right. And gave up a double kill over to the solo laner. Not, not a good, good position. Vale, chale, no. ¿quién se va a llevar if you la gold? Scream, that's a big bounty. Yeah, that's, <laughs> so, a, that's massive. I mean, it's a, it's a big if as well. Y vaya polla se acaba de comer mi amigo, la verdad. So, I mean, there's a three-level difference in the jungle. Mi amigo de Zony. Help, may, you know, equalize things if Johnny's able to find that kill. But that's where the biggest difference is right now, and... 
Admittedly, the gold is really starting to, to show up. You can see tier three items that are being finished. Maybe tier one items that are getting picked up after those tier threes here as the second item for the Scarabs. But that experience in the jungle is really going to start being felt because you've got a two level lead over the opposing mid laner, two level lead over the solo laner, you know, four level lead, five level lead, you know, four, did the math right first time, over Raph or things like that. I've got a question for you, Gormizer. Uh, hopefully I've got an answer. I so think uh, the Embargo goes. And there's a this game, correct? Yep. Why have we not seen a Morgan Hoon bot transformation? Why are we only uh, seeing these Robin transformations out of out of Zeros so far? Because Zeros okay. is making bad choices. Okay. Well, I guess that's uh, that's all the answer. Um, and I mean that. that in more ways than one. Not just the ultimate. I just haven't seen him impact any of these fights the way that he should be so far. I mean, if you have the opportunity to have a Hoon bots on your team, yes, they took Hoon bots away, and that was one thing that we were kind of El over, you know, while the desk was sí, doing it. Where does Johnny go with his pick? Now that they've, you know, they they banned the Sukiyomi themselves. The Loki got taken out. I'd like to we throw don't out all of the picks the that we saw. Got got did not get locked. No, we have the beef that got locked in a moment. Eh? Four different junglers. And we also completely ignored the fact that there is a Hoon bots in the game. They could have picked up a Hoon bots and had two of those on their team. But now you at least have the opportunity to have one of those. And uh, I mean, let's not mince words. Hoon Bots is kind of nuts right now. Captain Twig has been a perfect showcase. And uh, uh, let's ignore Captain Twig right now. Scream has been a perfect showcase yeah. for this solar system. Ay, el puto Boronix ha hecho un... The fact that el Boronix ha hecho un play, tío. Y el Boronix no se había quitado la O. No, no tengo ni idea, la verdad. The Valkyries, especially the way they played in game one, was great. But this is a lot more of what I've come to expect at the moment, and that it's an unfortunate position to be in when this is more or less what you expect. This could be a good pick. I think they still have good ways to fight into this, but with the scarabs uh, amassing this lead, if they get this gold fury, you're really starting. A ver, to a ver, qué hace el duque. You cannot be in that kind of position 14 minutes. In. Gold fury down to half. Ducky in the back line misses Ojo. the block, but still has the drive. Ulti de terra medio pocha, eh. Ojito firjoes. Goes for the ultimate, but doesn't get Ula, it. Ula, Sabi Stewart. Stewart will manage to walk away. Had to use his beads to get out, but it's now Raffer in the waters. And a fear no evil out of scream to turn the fight back around. Y Raffer has got to run, and S.O.T. will just chase oh, out Zero, no. jump right over the stun. And Ducky will push Kremio oh, no. forward, but Zero's goes down. Sot still has ultimate. No. Great aggression. There's that sticky. Oh, Ooh, that's a lot of money. But the Bifrost gets out of danger for the time. But bueno, the Valkyries have to cut-ups. walk away. There's no way they can keep this fight going, especially with S.O.T. bullying their support Raffer has nowhere to go Johnny may be caught out now he doesn't have that overhead kick anymore ay mierda que no se lo están haciendo ah uff por favor que no la robe 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 por favor, no la robe. Por favor no la robes duque hijo de puta no la robes Duque hijo de puta no la robes. Duque hijo de puta no la robes. Gracias. Uf. Pero mal, pero mal, pero mal, pero mal, pero mal, pero mal. Dios. Uf. Eh, ya está, ya está, ya está. No me toquen los huevos. Vale, chavales, dos minutos para votar por el siguiente pirómano. That was the way it was last game, except the Scarabs uh -oh. were losing all of the fights each time. They Ay, did Dios, this time, tío. you're winning all of the fights and winning the map play. And this is what we would have expected. I think, uh, you know, Mifflin had said it on the desk where he was referencing that, you know, there was a must win, especially like, and I'm going to throw it out there. The Scarabs were saying they were easily a top five team and that they were going to prove it here in phase three. Uh, so far, I've been unfortunately falling shot. I think they've done a really great job. Ya no ha puesto huele a robo por tu parte. No te preocupes, no vamos a echar de menos tus 200 puntos. No te preocupes. And as much as, you know, there is that thought, like, the Dragons would have been a must-beat team to prove that statement true. Uh, the Valkyries, if you are going to have a statement like that out there... Hombre, no deberían perder, la verdad, los Valks. ...self-inflicted wounds, should be a must 2-0 for you. And the fact that this is... Admittedly, this is this game going a lot more in favor of what you would expect. They need to figure out game one, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at the Scarab's grand scheme, and I, yeah. I don't know what it is about it. 
They gotta figure it out. If it means playing a conquest together prior, you just gotta do it. Maybe ¿Qué partida hay después? Only Warrior versus... Like king eh, Maybe that's what they no need, sé si es Titans well, o Kings. Creo que Kings. A chance. I don't, have we had a chance to see what no, a game they got four three scares? Of the only playoffs they made. Okay, it so so far we haven't got to see a game four scares. Maybe maybe it's a little bit of the inverse. So maybe maybe it's those even games for the scares that are the most impactful. Rafa Max versus Oni Warriors. Literalmente solo me acuerdo que jugaba Oni Warriors. El otro no sé si es Titans o Kings. Creo que Kings. Pero no estoy muy seguro. Ojito y Rafa lo roba los cojones para robar el Rafa. Of what the Scarabs have to offer. It's just, it is so wild how night and day this team has looked. And admittedly, it is not necessarily just them. I think they look decent in game one as well. It's just that Johnny looked better. Ducky looked better. You look at this now. Ducky's 0 and 4 has had. Vale, chavale, ¿quién se va a llevar el fire? This game in the grand scheme of things versus what his Odin was able to provide. Johnny, while he is all of the kills, the Valkyries have. Tenéis, eh, tenéis un minuto, chavales, un minuto para votar para el siguiente fire. A quién ves con más chances de llevarse su respectiva liga al Barça o a la Val? Y yo, Jonathan, eso es muy duro, tío. Eso es muy duro, eh, cabrón. Eso es muy duro, eh. And that's the problem right now. I think the Scarabs are in a great position. They are controlling this game and playing it the exact way they need to. And the way things are going with them, especially look, all the relics they have up, all the ults they have up, they don't need a fire giant to be able to pressure out tier twos. And your frontliners are so under leveled and trying to put up a soft tier two defense. SOT, he'll be able to walk away, no problem. Raffer gets hit by the cyclone, knocked up, and over half of his health already gone. Meanwhile, inbound can just drop a monolith right in the middle of everything and heal himself and his team right back up. Zeros gets a stun against SOT and now Zeros in. Ojo, Hugh ulti de screen, pero Inbounded está medio mal, ¿no? Ojito porque Inbounded se me muere. Nice ulti de solo troll. Ojito, Johnny, uno versus uno. Uno versus cuatro, Nice Roca. Ay, Dios. Cuatro versus uno. Oye, pues no se han hecho el fire, eh. No creo que vayan a finish. No creo que vayan a finish. ¿Verdad? Te sirve más el botón de cancelar del Clash Royale o un taxi de Cars. Y yo, no sirve para nada el botón de cancelar del Clash Royale, eh. Te lo juro, eh, Alejandro, no sirve para nada. It just has to sit back and watch because what's he going to do? He's a level 15 Hercules. Yeah, you, not you much. Know, inbound is almost that level. Yeah, yeah, really not much there. Let's take a look back at that team. Hey, yo, yeah, Spunky, see, gracias por los beats, first, pero no sé cuántos son, la verdad. That fear no evil, a huge ulti. That is a, that is a dream for any Hoonbots player, for any god that has an AoE ultimate of that size. It is a, an absolute dream to find four people, and he finds like it's absolutely nothing. Just toss it right in the middle of everybody. I mean, it, it, like you said, maybe like the perfect dream just for the Scarabs team fight to get four with the fear no evil, then three with a Stygian torment. I like you're like I'm drooling at the thought of that happening if I am playing. That is just such a good combo. A ver, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I mean, you are absolutely on fire if you're the Solar Scarabs this game, and I think that they are playing the, the exact way that I expected them to play. El mano, but admittedly, a little bit of a fumble in game one. This is more or less what Paso, tío. No puedo contar porque el chat no para de moverse, tío. <risa> Creo que son 70, ¿no? Creo. 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 O oh, bueno, si sí, es verdad, 71 porque no he contado el primero. Qué pena ser de Zony. Hombre, va a 3-7, la verdad. Huele un poco mal. O sea, me refiero. El, el, el marcador no refleja lo, la partida que está haciendo. A ver qué es lo que hay con el Fire. El enemigo no tiene relics todavía. Veamos a ver. El Luke va a trolear, ¿verdad? Y ahora con esto, los Solar Scarabs están capaces de empezar a hacer esto para el Fire Giant. Si estoy mirando en el Game 3 aquí, 
I I'm probably saying get rid of the Toon Boss, get rid of the Euler, or whatever else you need to, and get Johnny on something comfortable and maybe get Rapper a little bit of help here. Scream is just running him down on the Toon Boss, and SOT will make sure, try and punish him. But through the realms, oh, he doy moaning, maybe. He'll be launched right back under the tower, but SOT picks up Rapper. O sea, que se muere y Rapper, bueno, es pan de cada día, ¿sabes? Ay, el Duque, tío. Nice beats. Está muerto. Ay, Dios, el minito también a uno de... Pero como que good place, cabrón. Es un toleado de Valkyria que flipas. Mira, mira cómo se ríe el Boronic. Eh, a lleno te estaba riendo, eh, cabrón. Qué pavo. Tío. Yo me reía ganado si perdiese Pero el puto Boronic solo gana tío Cuando juega contra Valkyrias Me quedo calvo tío by inbound in the back line goes Johnny trying to find Stewart but he just got crit for almost 500 zeros goes in and for the first time gets a five man fear no evil but as soon as he grabs it he is already gone SOT picks him pues up nada. and the solo scarab la, la puesta, for two to tie up the set yeah the scarabs were just impressive that game I, I mean you got to see it in the solo lane you got to see it in the jungle and you got to see a lack of that presence cada vez que leo el título class pienso que te refieres al class de Mike there. ¿Tú te crees que yo me voy a poner a jugar al clash ese, al, al modo de juego ese, hermano? Ni muerto, tío. Ni muerto, loco. <ríe> Ni morir me pongo a jugar a esa mierda, loco. Aunque no está mal, ¿eh? No estaba tan mal, ¿eh? Cuando jugaba, eh, cuando jugaba con el bow y eso no estaba ni tan mal, ¿eh? Hemos ganado un equipo que 50 de pin después de que ellos nos hayan follado. De hecho, habían perdido una partida ellos. Es un poco triste, pero bueno. Eh, vamos a jugar Que necesito cofres Si es el mejor modo de juego de Smite Sin lugar a dudas Bueno, quitando con que, evidentemente Hermanos oh, oh, oh. Julio, lo voy a matar ah. Yo, diablo Muchas gracias, hermano No, uff, no, creo que ha llegado, ¿verdad? Ay, Dios, qué injusto, tío. Injusticia, injusticia. Ojito, el de eso ha enganchado, eh Ha enganchado, eh Ha enganchado torre, eh Ha enganchado torre, eh Messi, Messi, Messi Me cago en la puta. No, 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 por favor, por favor, por favor. Uf, no mal. Hijo de puta. Huele horrible, eh. Hay que hacerle un full push. Hay que hacerle un full push.
Nah, no podía, tío. Ya había cagado, hermano. Es que, que, ¿cómo coño defiendo esa mierda, tío? Si me, si me contería el dron. Es que es imposible. Eh, ¿Me puedo alejar más, por favor, de, del cofre gigante? Quítate ese mazo. Eh, y yo, eh, carabello, tío. ¿Cuántas veces me vas a decir que me cambie el puto mazo, tío? Pregunto. <risa> que ya me he enterado que es una mierda, loco. ¿No ves que no tengo otro? Que no tengo cartas. Que he empezado a jugar hace cuatro días, loco. <risa> es que. Y todo el mundo con la mierda esta, tío. Ay, la madre que me parió, tío. Y con un puto hielo también. ¿Cómo no? Y se va, tío. Claro que sí, tío. Claro que sí, Dragon Infernal. Eres súper útil. Me encanta, tío. Me encanta. Qué vida más triste tengo, tío. Un veneno para una princesa, tío. Ok. Vale. Se dicen que mete el mazo Pero nadie, te, nadie le dice Ten 100 euros para mejorarte el mazo <risas> Literal, eh Literal, cabrón Literal, tío Qué rollo Verdad, eh Todo el mundo me dice Julio, que mete el mazo Es una mierda, tío pero, pero nadie me da, tío, la pasta ¿Sabes? Para mejorármelo Un poquito de solidaridad Ay, Dios, tío No, por favor. Uf. Pensaba que la había fallado. Ay. Ay, Dios mío, tío. ¿Yo qué le he hecho a la vida, tío? ¿Yo qué carajo le habré hecho a la vida, tío, para que me toquen estos vírgenes, tío? Sácame ya de este sufrimiento, tío. En plan, que termine ya, ¿sabes? ¿Cómo carajo defiende esa mierda? ¿Cómo? O sea, ¿qué pretenden que haga? No entiendo ¿Qué hago, tío, si me toca un pavo que tiene El mega gay Y, lo, y los dos eh, De estos, tío ¿Qué hago? Everyone played their roles here in this game uh, for the Solar Scarabs, and I think that's the important thing to look at. Yo, Saúl, muchas gracias por esos dos meses. Julio 69, tu pack por Julio 69, Julio 69, AS, Julio 69, BC. ¿Quién es el Megagay? Hermano, le llaman así en TikTok, que es buenísimo, tío. Bueno, no, no concretamente así, pero... Ay, el montapuercos al 11, claro que sí, tío. Con hielo, claro que sí, tío. Ah, un tronco también, evidentemente. A ver, ¿tendrá torre infierno? Sorpresa, dragón infernal. Poner bien el cañón y con eso lo tienes. Ya. Será eso, yo creo. Tío, que quita 300 el, el monta, tío Que llevo 5 años jugando de queda, Garo, cabrón Qué poca vergüenza tienes, tío 
No vemos el clash, ya si es que quiero que veáis el, el smile. No quiero que me veáis haciendo el ridículo. No, even if Ducky does not like David, you said it best, man. He made that team fight look so much better for the Valhalla Valkyries. The the no he hecho prediction, tío. Se me ha olvidado, hermano, es verdad. On them as they do elect to just go ahead and keep fanning out this Uller. Don't want to deal with Stuart there on the other side and Loki from the Solar Scarabs. I like that, man. Johnny's been uh on a tear on this pick recently, so don't want to have him go straight towards it. Yeah, a strong start to the to the uh, the picks and bans for the Valkyries, following up with the Cerberus after a good game. Claro que sí, tío. And I wondered if Le ha faltado tirar un cohete, tío. Para defenderme al. Para defenderme el. El P.E.K.K.K., señoras y señores, es una mierda. Es de decir. I think over the last two weeks, Ardio's been what, close to 100% pick ban. You think? I think she's there. Yeah, for phase three. So Maybe far. even 100% ban. I don't know. I don't know the last time I've seen Ardio. Not quite. Uh, it's close though. Like, was it literally last game? Oh, oh. she wasn't picked or banned last game. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Gore. Thank you, Gore. I was like, I was watching. Was she in the last game? <laughs> <laughs> My heart sank for a moment. That almost like, looked no horrible. Shot. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, so still doesn't look great because she wasn't picked or banned in the last game, which still is wild to me. Is but that the only game? Must be. All right, now we're digging ourselves into a hole. Yeah, that is the knows. only game she goes unpicked or banned. I'm, I'm going to so dig my heels in. So that looks a little bit better for us yes. because it, it does not happen often, and, and when it happens so frequently, you can kind of gloss over the individual uh, outliers. RDO's good. She gets picked banned a lot. That's what we're trying to say here. Solar Scarabs are going to ban Nailed her away it. this time. Geb gets locked in first for the Valkyries. Geb has also risen way, way up as far as pick ban numbers go here. It's left open and the Valkyries want him. Estoy hasta la punta de la polla, tío. Estoy hasta el nabo, loco. Voy a bajar de arena al final, tío. Es surrealista, tío. A ver. Uh, vale, Charles, tenéis 5 minutos para votar a ver qué support muere antes. Tened en cuenta que uno es Irrafer con Gep y el otro es Invoder con Sylvanus. O sea... The impact of Chang'e is kind of directly tied to that ultimate. Like it, you know, there there were moments where Zeros was hitting three three person ults, and the team fight just rolled for the Valkyries after that. Or is there some good value in this pick even outside of the uh, the chain CC, the lockdown stun that that ult provides? Yeah, I mean, just the the healing and the anti heal in of its own is incredibly strong. The third ability not only dealing damage to enemies but also healing your allies and anti healing. Your enemies, I think, is just a phenomenal ability. Se puede votar que mueren los dos antes de empezar. No puedes. Overhead kick in that it is essentially beads and Aegis built into one ability. Unfortunately for Chanka, it does not deal damage like Robin's does, but instead gives you a little bit more mana after you absorb a couple of hits. I think this god is pretty all right, but she's inconsistent in that a lot of her abilities kind of force her into a pseudo melee range. Which is not exactly where you want to be playing as a, as a mage, especially considering how strong assassins are right now. Yep. But a ver qué tal la China. Han baneado Tirgu con tío. So much so. As long as you're able to hit two targets, you're Hostia, probably doing Hostia, okay. Sosiris. Not. Se va a pasar super bien el Tirgu, la verdad. Doing well right now, and Sukiyomi is one of those assassins myth that is doing. Como que Raffer de cuál es, cabrón de Valkyrias. We'll be piloting here in uh, in game number two or game number three rather. You imagine piercing moonlight's going to be a free ticket into that back line for this pick, and that's where. Con lo bien que estaba Osiris, una Aquiles es una mierda. Downs on on self peel and getting the Sukiyomi off. Sylvanas has been a very popular pick here for the Solar Scarab specifically. We've seen Sylvanas on the rise. Hay un Aquiles, tío. In 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 phase three of season eight so far in general, but I think that this is a pick that that if Invan is able to get, he is happy about it. And 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 first pick for the Solar Scarabs would certainly indicate that. 
does. I mean, that minor rework, man, I, I think a lot of people are still sleeping on it. The amount of cooldown you get is so actually legitimately incredibly high, and now you've got yourself a very steadfast front line inside of the Solar Scares. I mean, Blink engaged from Sylvanas, and then you've got, you know, Cyrus in there with you could create a lot of space for gods like Heimdall or whatever mage you elect to pick up for the okay. Solar Scares to operate. Eh. Valkyries take a very immobile ADC up against a Tsukiyomi. Is that Panda Cat on the 100% win rate? It's got to be, right? I, I believe so. I don't love the AMC into Tsukiyomi matchup, though. I mean, piercing moonlight to close gap. Pero qué coño es esa buce, Gemilito? Cabrón, que eres malísimo. ¿Qué me hace con el peor de hacer el juego? Es low y muy con los panales. Que yo sepa, ¿no? Pero ¿y qué? Eso ya es excusa, tío, para pa pillarte la buce. Oye, no, que soy inmune al low, eh, con los panales. Es que ni aunque fuese inmune al daño dentro de los paneles. Sería buen personaje. Es que me quedo calvo, tío. O sea, ¿te imaginas, tío? Inmune al daño dentro de los paneles. As far out of reach as it was in the last game. There's a lot of that hinge in your eyes on the Sukiyomi into both of the carries that the Valkyries have selected. Sukiyomi actually not very good. Well, bow, dude. Using moonlight only uh, teleports you to your target once you've applied that damage. So the yep. moonlit waltz. La, el único set que podían ganar los Valkyries so, y se pilla este pavo. Un abuse. Venga, toma picha. So much though, neither into Osiris either. I mean, once you're close yep. gap on him, you've got the tether. <sighs> Me quedo calvo, dude. Me quedo calvo. Uh, yeah, I, I think the AMC selection is a lot of it, but maybe the AMC and Chonga together, just being so sure. unorthodox, kind of, kind of adds up no... some hesitation on my part. I'm assuming that it'll be Gab support with this AMC. Se podrá reemplazar a Valkyria con otro team. Tienen que estar ahí hasta el final del año. Qué bueno que es un mes y medio, ¿sabes? Sobek, I think, is one that he might be able to make look good here in Game Three. Oh, I think so. I mean, he said it in the interview. He's not expecting to see anything inside the lane. So Sobek, definitely one that can just kind of sit there, survive, soak up some farm, and then eventually rotate into a team fight. Va a carrear. Hombre, estaría bien para el content, la verdad. Very familiar with playing. A very good style for him. You know what feels good, Miff? Ducky has played six gods in the last six games, right? When I'm talking about all the variety oh, that he has played. So now it's going to be seven gods in the last seven game for Ducky. Can the Valhalla Valkyries win a set? Will the Solar Scarabs be the ones who take it? Game number three right now. Me gusta mucho Dolson, game dude. on the line for both of them. The Valkyries' best chance at Pero getting me, a me win. Gusta mucho Dolson. With a must-need win here. Both these teams sitting completely defeated. 0-3 oh, on the standings. So the one who comes out here on top will be the one With the first win of these two, no, which means the other one will be sitting us. at number eight in the standings and the scarabs for how much they've been talking themselves up. They definitely don't want to be at the bottom of the standings here in week three. O sea, con lo crítico que soy yo con los casters. Como por ejemplo ahora Miser o el otro. Right now for both of these teams is not an ideal spot. In fact, unless they win, so obviously one of them isn't going to be in this. Escribe solo por Twitter, no que me banean también en Twitter. Every single game from here on out. And then a couple of the top teams lose every single game. Their chances of going into the top three. B. No, yo era gay desde el primer momento. Two, that's the one that matters. Uh, dramatically diminishes to the point where top three cards in the history of Might. Dm Brandon. Yeah, there's not. So they only have three more Bart. matches after that. Right. There's not many y... opportunities left to get back. I mean, yeah. most of the top teams are sitting Hinduman, at the three and one or the two and two. Already, so you know the Warriors have the next shot. There's, they've got at least one win under the belt at the time, but they still got quite a competition to go up against. They still got quite a few top teams that they have to play against. Finch, one of those is por qué right Finch? So they're going to see where everybody falls in line. Zero has been taking a lot of damage from Scream and Baronic here in this mid lane. And with all due respect, it is a Merlin and a Sukiyomi. Some decent ranged poke from the Merlin and some close range, and then some long range poke that can come from that Suki. Yeah, and Scream Sukiyomi the other day looked insane to the point where they actually banned it last game, the Valkyries, knowing that that is something that is, is worth being de hecho, worried no. Unfortunately, they didn't get Scream to, to wait for his pick, so they weren't able to limit the jungle. And Mejor admittedly, so overall, I Mike. expect a little bit more out of what we saw. Well, not more from last game from Scream. That was nuts. I actually think no sé, la a little bit from Scream. El de Walker estaba muy potentorro. 
Especially with taunts like that. I mean, if you're able to connect on two man taunts, that's where we've seen the circuit really Uh oh, Ducky trying to go for the solo. Como cojones solo troll está a uno de vida en plan. Ah, porque lleva bluestone, vale. Damage to drop the solo intercess. So T gets to live for another day. He's got plenty of health potions to keep him nice and topped off. He can pick up a chalice and health potions. Already burned through the chalice to pull off a inbound. Ese pavo me cae fatal, dagaro, tío. El de TikTok, me, o sea, en plan, cada vez que veo unos pillos suyos, no me interesa denunciar y a tomar por culo. Muy bien, Duki, forzando el link, la verdad. Te peleaste con The Walker, ¿no? Si esto era gracioso, a mí me cae mal, tío. Como si digo cuál es el mejor start. Bueno. La... La macra con el hacha, el late pelabas o con el boomba pelabas. Con Bluestone. No sé, la verdad. Como que no me convence dos. And one of the benefits you do get to see out of AMC, we don't get to see him very much, is that he can place those hives all down the lane, all up and around, as every time he goes back to base, he can drop another one on his path back towards the lane, so he gets a little bit of extra movement speed, a little bit of extra attack speed, and some healing. Those hives do a lot, and SOT nice. now is level 5 Johnny. Ultimate is good, and SOT is looking for a path out, but he's not going to find it. Gets a stun against Johnny, but Ducky is right behind trailing him. The potions are gone, and Ducky will flip him right to his death. Another first blood for the Valkyries here in Game 3. And a good kill for them to be able to pick up. They show a lot of control, but you do have to burn Johnny's ult in the process, which... No sé qué es eso, Dagaro. Que te dice que hace con ganas de sacar la SPL, Hércules. Justo le iba a jugar el día el día que me banearon. <risa> Lástima. Jugamos contra los Titans. Hubiese sido free de cojones. Era con que puse a Gemilito campeón. Raffer has been around for oh, a uh, long time, and Geb has been in the meta for a long time. ¿Qué es eso? And bounced back and forth. ¿Qué es eso? Porque hay una caja ahí, yo. I'm anticipating a lot, but Emil, I've seen some of his best performances on these gods that used to be great when he was playing at his highest level, like the Aqua Cob, like the Kronos we saw. Me hubiese gustado ver eso. A mí también significa que no hubiese estado baneado. Ah, la nueva pasiva. Cuando vas a poder jugar ya nunca. No depende de mí. One thing, uh, it, it took me a moment to remember exactly what it was, but those little bitty boxes that were sitting back after that pull from inbound. Tú también gastabas tu blinks a la ligera. Ya, pero yo soy yo. Ese blink no tiene sentido, en plan. No llegas antes a línea, no tienes más presión. Sí, sí, o sea, si limpiar iba a limpiar igual, ¿sabes? Si el OSI no se va a echar para adelante, era nivel 4, podía, le podían ganquear justo después del blink. Just a little bit sooner because it's not too often that you do get a hit level. It's not very often you get a hit level. Equipo de CP estaba en la edición. Si te dejas en competir en el lugar, en el peor equipo sin posibilidad de ganar un partido más cercanía. Y yo os calláis subnormales. ¿Qué es una posibilidad de, o sea, sin posibilidad de ganar un game? Que tenga que perder por decreto, pero eso qué puta mierda es entonces. ¿Sabes? ¿Para qué coño voy a competir, sabes? Si voy a perder sí o sí. ¿Por qué te banearon? Por mi orientación sexual. Theoretically, we'll be able to see them coming and maybe juke them out. Sir Cat's got a lot of mobility. You've got Geb shields on your side. Evan, but why are they going to ban me, dude? Who thinks? Why are they going to ban me? But that doesn't mean a good pick's still not going to happen every now and then. I think now I'll probably get called out here, and some will will definitely check. But I think we've only seen three. Exacto, tío, porque me gustan los hombres, hermano. Por eso me banearon, tío. Es surrealista, eh. 
Ojito aquí se va a morir algún support Y Raffer tiene todas las papeletas Y Raffer tiene todas las papeletas, maybe Ojito, buen plug, solo todo que se me va a morir Ojito porque Inbaune está en mala posición Huele a, huele a muerto Inbaune huele a muerto Doble down de Duke ¡Oh! ¡Ay, Inbaune! ¿Qué me haces? ¡Oh! Huge. Eh, Gorenizer, te callas, por favor, tío. Mira, Moronic riéndose, que sí o qué. Vale, chavales. ¿Quién se va a llevar la gol? Tenéis un minuto a apostar. Julio me regala puntos si quieres te regalo un escupitajo. Inherently in the kit, if you do pick up a divine ruin, which with the Sylvanas on the other side, in la cara, out of the question, then you are. Te gusta que te escupa o que zorra? Anti heal. You are essentially a very small, admittedly, but walking. Boronic muerto de la risa. And it can be a massive swing for them. Plus, divine ruin is not a bad item to pick up. Me quedo calmo, bro. And everything else that he gives you, so it does feel good. Of course, that's why you see Boronic pick it up as well, even if you're just getting the forty percent. Ojito porque solo el troll huele a mierda, eh. Está a nivel siete. O si por detrás o huele a basura. Si el joven por delante con un blink y que no nos pendan de primero, cuidado, eh. Really, really good combos to help deal with inbound. Ay Dios, qué mierda es esta. ¿Por qué están haciendo la gol los escarabs? Only Johnny is here to defend against the Gold Fury. Emil on the way and Zero's wrapping around. Stewart gets separated from the fight through the round. Ay Dios. Ojito, Zirjoe tiene buen posicionamiento, maybe. Una ulti ahí, Zirjoe, carajo. Ulti a cinco, tío. Ah, que ya la ha tirado. Un Ice Town Huge Town Huge Jonathan Vosotros más habéis visto alguna vez tirar ese blink de mierda, tío Probablemente sí Pero es que ha sido muy, ha sido muy feo, tío Ping diff, ping diff, totalmente soy yo jugando solo en solo. Vaya por Dios. De Zony se lee como Johnny en serbio. Según él, sí. No porque nunca juega este Sobek, buen punto. Probablemente sí que tenga algún, algún de estos con Sobek. La real si Valkyria no jugaran con ping Fueran super OP en SPL ¿Tú, no has, vi ¿tú has visto las dudas que tienen las Valkyrias? Que sí, que son los dobles campeones mundiales eh, Hace cuatro años O cinco O seis Over the solar scarabs here, ten minutes in. So the jungle is viable. Juega lo ahora que yo estoy baneado. Cuando me desbanen, no te quiero ni volver a ver. And then one team fight is all it takes to turn it around. Yeah, it's been a really good. Can't get a duel. Practically, it's on hard. Well, I'm not going to do it. Ten thousand gold is kind of. El Zony sin ping sería bastante bueno. Twenty k against SK. If you hit bastante mejor de hecho. That was like you're losing tail because they were going to win, but against the bolts, it's been ten k the last couple of days. It's been a yeah, an interesting dynamic for them, and nowhere near that amount of lead here for the Valkyries. So ultimately, nothing too bad for the Scarabs. Although six kills. Definitely is a good showcase, I think, to start things off. A, a great pickup, and now they're looking to get aggressive. Johnny may be being too deep, but he's got to get. He's not too worried. That's a two versus three. Zeros and Emil now rotating over. Inbound in the middle of all of it. Cataclysm is good. The Stinger hits inbound. He has nowhere to run. Slow down. He'll have to use his ultimate, but Johnny will talk to him right back. ¿Por qué carajo no le están haciendo focus a uno, tío? It'll be Emil credited with the kill and a seven-one marked for the Valkyries. Continuing. 
Yo ni sin ping tendría potencia para ser el siguiente Darting. Puede ser. Tiene Stuart, el nuevo ADC de Karabs. Lo pillaron de la SML. Ay, Dios. La verdad es que qué perezote, tío, en fichar a alguien de la SML, me refiero. Eh, tienes que hacer pruebas y de todo, ¿sabes? En plan... Cuando yo fiché por Leviatanes, pues evidentemente ellos ya sabían que yo era bueno y todo el rollo. Pero... Qué pereza tener que coger a un pavo que... ¿Sabes? Dios. O sea, no a uno, sino tener que probar a varios. Pues claro, si uno no funciona, tendrá que probar a otro. Y qué perezote, la verdad. No lo está haciendo mal. Ya, pero es que tampoco lo está haciendo bien. Huge. Buena ulti solo el troll. Podría haber farmeado, aunque sea. Y yo se pueden hacer la puta gol ya. Y ni siquiera Smile would have guessed. Yeah, and like you. I mean, Gold Fury started up. Honey dropped under the Fury to get some extra damage. Scream off to the sidelines. You don't mean that, yeah, I don't. Imagine if you answer saying like, "Well, at least I can play." I would have been like, oh. <laughs> Bueno, free gol para los Valks. Vale, chavales, tenéis un minuto para votar cuántas kills tendrá de Zony antes del minuto 22. ¿Qué me he perdido? Bueno, mmm, solo el troll toleando. Upwards towards 30 minutes of a game one, but they have not looked this clean against any other team so far this phase. Sí, la verdad es que Milito va 2-0, eh. Sorprendentemente. Valkyries that we have seen in a long time. Like you said, David mentioned it, but like the last time this team got a single game win was up against the Scarabs there in phase two, week four, I believe. Not only that, it's been an 11 set loss streak for them since then. Their max. Prior to that one win they had against the Scarabs was 13 in a row. And so this is something that is a, a big turnaround for them. One, trying not to, you know, break their own record. So big, tío, que guapo, eh. Trying to showcase a little bit more. I mean, Esta puta builds, de verdad, tío. Pero es plate mystical, tío. Pero esto que mierda es, tío. En mi época era o plate o mystical, loco. No los puto dos, tío. ¿Qué mierda es esta? Como cambian los tiempos, tío. Esto en 1980 no pasaba. Y ahora tenemos que hacer más preguntas. Mira, ves esa, ves esa línea de ahí. Antes eran Warriors. Todo eso de ahí era campo antes. Antes eran Warriors. Qué pena, tío. 
group and kind of make it a very interesting conversation. ¿Qué cojones acabo de ver, tío? Que tiene Breadplay Mystical. ¿Qué cojones estáis haciendo? Uh. Tranquilo que soy un Gerd. Oh no. Uh, Cirjo es back in business. Nice, no, capa para el pil. Ojito solo el tropo está haciendo work aquí. Duque necesita pulearlo fuera. Never mind. Me falta alguien. Ah, Emilito que está pusheando. Perfecto, pues perdemos la partida. Genial, Emilito, muchas gracias. Ojito al fire, eh. Being able to push up right there, but unfortunately the team just wasn't able to win. Zeros, if that ult was saved just slightly, it helps him get the kill. But if he was able to save it and hit more people with it, might have been a much easier swing or a much easier survival for him. That is a great fight for the Scarabs to be able to pick it up. It doesn't take as big a dent as I thought it would in the gold, especially because they weren't able to continue their onslaught onto that tier two like I had hoped. So they don't trade that out. Emil makes an even better call because of it. But they do have to be wary because that goes to show that even though you have this massive lead, Valkyries can very easily be thwarted in the right scenario. And it's kind of this one one man trickle in every single time. It's just Ducky, and there's already three scarabs. Well, now Johnny shows up, and well, there's still three scarabs. And by the time Raffer shows up, is when the fourth one is there. And now you're just saying, Zeros, come on, man, where's our fourth? Where's our where's our last man to even this out? By the time Zeros gets in, everybody. Is at such critical health. Debe hacer meta de guardian en la solo, horrible. Like a second game on this Chongus, I mean, try and get to those back lines. Ultimate from Rapper, a taunt from Johnny gets the beads from SOT. That's going to be a lot expended just to get those away from him. Emil will try and even out as far as these oracles go, and he will split them one to one. So no vision control goes for the Fury, but the Valkyries still have a 5,000 gold lead up over the Scarabs here in game three. And I think the biggest commit, Rapper without Cataclysm. I mean, that Cataclysm has been the playmaker, especially with Primal Fury coming up relatively soon. Not having that... Dios, me estoy aburriendo, eh. ...for the Scarabs to, to continue to be aggressive. Not maybe as widely as they would want, but I look, I see Johnny's beads are down, Zero's beads are down. Zero's also went blink on the Changa. That just connected with me. Yeah. But admittedly, and this is always the conversation when you have it. I think he did that earlier in game one as well. Changa's one of the ones that... ¿Qué es esta gol? ¿Qué es esta gol? ¿Qué es esta gol? Raffer Uy, se lo entró la muerto, eh, se lo entró la muerto Uh, ha esparcido el SIDA Ha esparcido el SIDA Esto algo huele mal también, maybe Uh, Emilito, uff Tiene blink el y Raffer, tiene blink ulti, eh, tiene blink ulti, eh Nice ulti, buena beast de Boronic Ay, por favor, Emilito, da un básico doesn't have the damage to close it out. Raffer may fall, but what a play from the support. Uh, health bars are low. There's a little bien. bit of that. Oh, no, the Stuart! Stuart is going to be just alive there for Stuart. Uh, you, you know what? You don't even care. Uh, look, uh, yeah, walk out of there. G good luck. Limp away, Scarabs. That is what the Valkyries are fear feeling. Let's talk about Shockwave for a second. It's good. At that distance, you are doing 75% damage of the max ability, right? So it does less damage the further out it is from Geb. That is a huge deal for Raffer to be able to time that so well. That is a great steal. Plus, they get a kill onto Sot. He spreads the poison. If Sot is able to get out of there without doing so, the Scarabs might be able to pick up Mortal, eh? those kills afterward. I don't know if I like the start of the Fire Giant, but I definitely like picking the fight. Ojo, Inbone huele mal. Ojito, Inbone huele mal. Thrown back with the ultimate from Johnny. Falling low and the poison will not spread to anybody, but they take... Puede ayudar a alguien a Emilito, por favor. Nice peel de Duki. But he has been RKO'd and TKO'd out of here. He is not going to be a part of any more fights. SOT down to half. The Valkyries, they win the fight. What more... Will they gain from it? They'll get a blink. blink out of SOT. Now is when you start up Fire Giant. You see SOT's back. In fact, you probably should have started it a few seconds earlier. You have a good opportunity to do it. You've got healing, but Baronic Scream, soon to be Stuart, are the only ones that can fight you for it. Johnny's got a good beeline to the back line. He's going to be able to find something. Oh, que bien han baiteado, cabrón. He stuns one, but he won't even have a chance to get killed. Un buen daño de Baronic, though. He takes him, but Baronic 
Boronic no se está riendo ya, ¿eh? ¿Por qué será? Luego quien juega Only Warrior vs Kings A ver este Fire está cayendo más o menos Más o menos lento la verdad Horrible ulti de Horrible ulti de Serket Nice Pluk Buena ulti de Inbounet Buena ulti de Zin Hoes Porque no hay nadie pegándole una DC sin carry O sea, sin, sin relics, tío Ay, Dios Scream still has ult, so does Stuart, so that is going to be a big deal for them. And the fact that, admittedly, you know, some of them are on low cooldown. I think the Scarabs are going to be able to continue putting up a fight, but you still get a good consolation prize inside of that Pyromancer. It's a good pickup for the Valkyries. The Scarabs are, are unfortunately not able to control this, mainly because they can't dictate how the start the fight starts. They are the ones moving forward to fight. They are the ones trying to get ¿Qué in es esto? there. And then the Valkyries ¿Qué are es saying, esto? okay, we're going to reposition all of you. We've got Cataclysm, ¿Qué es esto? We are going to make ¿Qué coño es esto? ¿Qué es esto? Down, but SOT isn't caring about the fire. He's going for the fight. Emma is low, and Emma to the afterlife fuse, and the soul No scarab. way! They steal away the fire giant. Tío, ¿qué cojones es eso, tío? Has to walk out, but Johnny gets caught out. Stewart picks him up. Even better. And the Scarabs may have just been able to turn this around. A big fire giant steal by the Scarabs. Yeah, ignore any of the gold lead that the Valkyries have right now. That's going to get taken away by these towers. This is a great opportunity for the Scarabs. Plus the kill onto Johnny. He goes too deep. The Scarabs, or I'm sorry, the Valkyries, hold on to that one a little bit too much. They've had way better opportunities for a fire giant. Vale, un minuto, chavales. Habrá GG antes del minuto 30 o no? Y yo, es que en cuanto lo han empezado a hacer... He dicho, ¿qué puta mierda es esta? Y yo, ¿cómo es posible que solo todo le está haciendo tantas cosas yendo 0-5, tío? Ay, Dios, voy a tener que aguantar la risa del Boroni, tío. Pero esto qué mierda es. Oh, uh, huge. Huge. Ahí se solea el final game, anda con ego boost. Sí, pero ego boost no significa skill boost. No, Emilito, no, Emilito, no, ¿dónde te sentaste? ¿Por qué, tío? ¿Por qué? Knowing that the scarabs are still on this side of the map, you even saw he was looking, saying, "Are they going to come out?" But by that point, it's already too late. Not. There's no, that's just bad. <laughs> There's no way to gloss over it. There's no reason for you to be there. You know that they're on that side of the map, and you have no ward coverage. You hear an Oni Fury call. Maybe you're thinking, okay, maybe they backed off. At the minimum, they still have Fire Giant and their Hunter and two front lines alive. Like, of course they're going to go for a tower. Maybe not enough to pressure a tier two, but that just feels like, a, again, two really big missteps from the Valkyries. One in that death, but one in the Fire Giant prior. Es que qué tontería, tío. Sí que había una, eh, gordo. O sea, había en había en alguna cuando cuando se hizo el mundial. O en algún, no sé, pero yo me acuerdo el Warstar de la apostando. 
No sé si era la super regional o qué era, pero en algún momento sí que hubo. Realistically, it just feels weird for me to, to see them kind of forego something so important. Cataclysm only on SOT. Zeros goes in, finds three with the ultimate at the dive in the back left. Ay, one, but he won't find anybody. Zeros is the one trying to take Uy, Skrin vale uno por uno, me sirve. The junglers are both out. No me sirve porque Duke está en la mierda. Y Rafa es full vida, though. I'm sorry, for the Scarabs, they should be able to move forward. Rafa finds a three-man knock-up in the back line, and the bees are spreading like wild. Vale, 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 vale. Buena defensa. La verdad es que Milito está haciendo mucho work, eh. Rafa rolls to the back, the knock-up. We'll find three, but nothing more from the Valkyries. They hold on and defend their left side Phoenix, so that will still stand for that next fire giant. Mid, they've got fire minions, and they've got 30 seconds without Johnny. Luckily, Johnny's going to respawn. Same thing for Scream. Just in time for that FG. Like you said, they defend that left side. That's maybe the most important thing. You can stem the bleeding of a, a red uh, mid Phoenix down. You can, you can deal with that. Of all those fire minions, you can deal with those. I do want to see a little bit more from admittedly what is a weird so Zeros' place playbook so far is blink ult scram <laughs> it is get in there stun <laughs> it's and then run, just baby. do whatever you can to stay alive if I if possible does keep his beats and so I think that's going to be a big deal for this next engagement we also have to watch Johnny no blink available he's been doing a lot of beelines to the back line getting specifically either solo or troll with his ult or inbound or Stuart trying to lock down anybody and everybody on the scarabs They're not going to have the same positioning they had last time. They're not the ones in control of the pit like they were before. The Scarabs have a lot of ward coat. No sé yo si habrá GG antes del 30, eh. So they're going to be able to find a hefty chunk of better positioning just off of the gold that they spent on the map. There are a couple, no, only one sentry that I see in the inventory for the Valkyries. That's honestly where they're going to suffer. Blink. Or a pluck from Ducky finds SOT, but not much more. Zeros is the target. Zeros gets pulled in by inbound. A quick Good beat. Ult. He'll turn around, throw an ultimate, but he's already been pop scream credited with the kill. Ducky at half, and in the back line is Johnny trying to find anybody that he can. The poison on Veronic, but Veronic will live, and it's SOT. Es que me falta daño, cabrón. Line. He'll chase down Emil. The shield will only delay the inevitable. Scream putting some big poke on the hunter, and Emil has nowhere to run. Scream able to pick up two kills. Le dará tiempo a finishar antes del 30. No sé. Yo, eh. like, look, getting zero stairs may be the biggest pick. He's done so much that ult is still nice, but there's not much he could do once he's in the fray of there. Uh, the blink is great for an engage, not for any sort of disengage. He had to use his beads, had to use his whole kit. Still Quizás sí, eh. Emily, Va a estar close. Va a estar close. Of anti heal for the team. Si van full finish, va a estar close. The first few fights is just a good pick up for the Scarabs. They're going to go on this onslaught. They should be able to get this Phoenix. Bolts are coming back up for the three still alive. Ojito, eh. Combo to try and take some. Ojito, eh. But it's the Phoenix that's the tie. The target. Van full finish. The Scarabs. They shred through that right side bird like toilet paper. And now with zeros coming back up, Johnny diving in the back line finds Veronic. A quick flicker out and Ducky goes in the lurking in the water. Trying to. Ojo porque igual si le da tiempo, eh. Va a ir full finish. Va a ir full finish. Oye, ir full finish, tío. Me toca ir los huevos, tío. Find a path in. One bird down and right to the mid lane goes the scarabs. And I like this because guess what? That's a weakened phoenix. It should be pretty easy with this fire giant already on your belt. It's taking them a little bit of time. Raffer gets a good cataclysm. Cataclysm on two. Stuart low. Johnny dealing with S O T. He's playing the perfect distraction for the scarabs and letting the rest of his team try and slay up. This mid lane scream still alive. He'll put some good poke in mid lane. Phoenix falls. The scarabs is now stripped two of the three birds off the map. And with the left side one already a little weak from their last engagement, they'll try and push this one out too. Again, good damage. They've got good capabilities, but 15 seconds still without Ducky. So it's a five versus four. You just can't do much here. Three Phoenixes down. You're going to be spending more time on defense, just trying to keep the Titan alive right now. Then you're going to be able to do anything on the map. Habrá una remontada, chaval. Vamos a hacer una de 30 segundos. Bueno, de un minuto. Habrá remontada de Valks. Let's see a wind demon about to come out for Stuart. That's realistically the last bit of gold that you need to spend. This game is such a cinch for you at this point. You just have to do well under the Titan. That is the hard part. Especially considering the Valkyries. Quarters games have been more favorable for the Valkyries or close quarters fights. 
up until that last, sorry, that first FG fight. If Johnny can have one good performance in this fight, that'll swing it for them. Otherwise, it has been Stuart, the impact that he's had, as well as SOT and Scream really just separating the team. The Valkyries just haven't been able to, to agree on anything. Zero still has not got his sixth item on the board. He's got a tier one magic focus. Ojito, eh. Ojito porque huele bien la remontada, eh. Ojito porque huele bien la remontada, eh. Remontad. In this game, I mean, you were talking earlier, 90% anti heal. If you can hit him with that third ability, just from the natural anti heal, it has plus divine ruin. But the scarabs may not be looking for anything more beyond here, except for a fight at the throne room, Ducky. Poked out the pull off to Mark from inbound. Emil and Johnny waiting on the back to see who they can poke. But inbound is one getting chopped by this B. Quite a bit of damage against both of these frontliners, but inbound has the sustain to stay alive. And this is where things get awkward, right? You've got fire minions you have to deal with on one side, and then the team to deal with on the other. Where is what Raffer? What are you doing out there? Raffer is all by himself in no man's land. Johnny shows up to help him out. Sewer takes a bit of damage. Ducky tries ojo, to ojo, ojo. Raffer's already down. The piercing moonlight. Gets one and Stewart is somehow still alive. Three holes. Cuidado, eh? Immune, nice. One trade so far. Zero's falling down. Johnny and Ducky both low. Johnny just goes down. Scream. Con el remontada. Trying to get with Ducky burned out. The solar scarabs turn it around after being 8k down. They manage to steal one fire giant and then push to the end of the game. Valkyries fall in game number three. Vaya por Dios, tío. The scarabs finally get that game. Qué troleada, tío. Such a great start for the Valkyries. Both. These teams fucking the suck. Most mistake ridden play. I mean, like, it just feels like I'm pretty sure too often. A lot of their game you are better. Look on Ducky. The, the Scarabs do a great job adapt. Que pena, tío, la verdad. Eh... Thanks. Yeah, I got you, bro. Don't worry. Que pena, tío. Bueno, un clash. Eh, voy a rezarle a todas las vírgenes Para que no me toque un virgen Por favor eh, ¿Queréis la entrevista post partido O nos suda los cojones? No suda los cojones. Vale. ¿No puedes poner el audio del Clash? Sí ¿Cómo no? Un mega gay
Vale, bien, bien, bien. Es que mirad lo que me sale a mí, tío. El puto chispitas este de mierda. Me salió el mega gay ayer, eh. Que conce. Que conce que me salió ayer. No falla, ¿eh? Odio defender Valkyrias, tío. Te lo juro. Ah, casi. El siguiente me haga gay no lo voy a poder defender, creo. Nice. Joder, la princesa. No, 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 no. Oh. Se lleve con lo mejor que te cambie eso es que le tito y ponga algo que tanque tipo Valkyria Príncipe. Pero es que no me gusta, me gustan los, 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 los esqueletos. Mierda, me he parado. Vale, bien. Es que no tienes algo que te aguante el push del rival. Que no sepa, eso quito el cañón y, y pongo la Valkyria, ¿sabes? ¿A qué nivel la tengo? La tenía como al 8, creo. Ni tan mal, no, en verdad. 4 elixir. Lo pruebo A ver qué es lo que A mí la Valkyria me gusta Ay Dios Vaya La pérgola de fuego de la historia Ay, ¿por qué la he tirado ahí, tío?
Ay, hermano, ¿cómo me tira la torre así, tío? Pero es que la tiene al 10, tío. Ay, porque no va a, pri a por la princesa. Mierda, tío. Ahí la llevas, guapetón. Hey, yo, Dayzerk, muchas gracias, bueno, por esos seis. Tranquilet, eh, tranquilet Tranquilet, tranquilet ¿Podré conseguir esta mierda? Si gano el si... O sea, si gano esta... Tengo que dejar de jugar un rato Porque si no me va a poner contra aquí Contra Willy Rex, ¿sabes? Y la muevo a la princesa, tío Vale, buena Valkyria Huge defensa, tremebunda, tremebunda No me tires mierda, eh Quiero defender eso Me da mucha pereza, la verdad ¿Tiene tronco mi compa? No me he fijado Tremenda sub badges Yo que dice Deadpool Tan guapa, ¿eh, cabrón? Bueno, eso creo que ha sido una mierda No, pues si está rota la Valkyria, ¿eh? Pues si está rota la Valkyria, ¿eh? Si él lo hubiese pensado, la verdad. Uf, en verdad son dos games. Me la juego los cojones. Que luego pierdo.
Me la voy a jugar, tío Me la voy a jugar porque soy un hombre y no juego mega caballero ni élites Vaya por Dios, me acaban de follar el culo Genial, tío Genial, genial, tío, genial ¿Dónde va el mini peca, tío? ¿No tienes tronco? ¿Qué coño voy a tener tronco, hermano? Como me dé una hostia... Uf, menos mal Uf. Qué cutre, tío. You still talk to the bell slap guys at all? Sometimes. Yo, Deadpool, muchas gracias por esas dos regaladas. Hermanos, oh, oh. Uy, yo lo voy a matar. Ay, me ha defendido al montapuercos ahí por la derecha también. ¿Veis cómo no tenía que haber jugado más, tío? Se acojan antes, eh. ¿Veis cómo tiene el juego más, tío? Joder. ¿Crees que voy a tener el mundial o no? Eh, hombre, tienen bastantes probabilidades. Y sigo jugando, tío. Soy imbécil. <risa> ¿Te puedo recomendar un mazo? Eh, puedes, pero no me voy a poner porque tengo las cartas a nivel 2.
Ay, mierda, que eso pega, tío Pensaba que era un montaporco normal Lo he tirado tarde ¿Podré defender? ¿Por qué no se han ido a por el monta, tío? No sé si puedo ganar, supongo que sí, ¿no? ¿Por qué la mosquetera le está pegando a la torre en vez de al dragón, tío? ¿Me lo puede explicar a alguien, loco? O sea, ¿contra qué puta mierda acabo de perder, tío? Yo no estoy enterado, de verdad. Yo te juro que no estoy enterado. No, no, te lo prometo que no, tío. Te prometo que no estoy enterado. No, no le doy otra que no tengo tiempo. And find their second win of the day. That's actually yeah a huge deal being able to if you could potentially play upset and cause some trouble for them. And that is worth mentioning. In the past, this has been again favorable for Kings. They've won every single one of these matchups versus the Warriors so far. But only two of them have been two O's. The other two were two ones. So it does make things a little more complicated for them going into this, especially. Eric, es que no tengo otra cosa, loco. Only Warriors. En plan. Yeah, the only Warriors have been looking really strong as of late. And that Hunter role now that we've seen some changes to 3.9. Yo, there's all the talk about the assassin meta, but let's talk about some of the new hunters that have popped in here. Uller, the most obvious one. But we've been seeing a lot more Hachiman as of late. We've been seeing the Ho Yi kind of sneak his way into some of these picks here and vote. Well, he's no stranger to this Hoji he, or this uh, this Hachiman. He's been playing it even since before this patch came out, back when the kind of the bow build was the way to go. So don't expect to see too many change up here in both builds. Yeah, I'm actually excited to watch. 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 And Eso es lo que necesito. Hasn't been a great year for the Warriors, and so a lot of their stats tend to reflect that. But again, more recently, we've gotten to see a lot more of an impact from this duo lane as a whole. I mean, Neil again having him here and not necessarily playing on that ping from I believe it was Western Canada would have been like is a huge deal for them. But Vote has definitely stepped up in play and in style, and I'm excited, especially with like Uller being on the chopping block. What we've seen out of them the last couple of weeks, I think that this is a Warriors duo lane that is going to be able to take control and change. A lot of, at least force a lot of bands that maybe go that direction. Whether it's support or whether it's hunter, that that still remains to be seen. I wouldn't be surprised if like Uller's up there. Well, veamos. With vote and a lot of the the hunters that are there, they go hand in hand, and I'm excited to watch them. Yeah, I'm excited to see this matchup. I'm excited to talk to Vote, who's going to be standing by for our pre-game interview to kind of talk a little bit to him and maybe get into his mind for this matchup. Vote, glad to have you here today. Yo, las pre-game interviews que no son en estudio, tío. Kind of at the top of the standings for for a lot of the hunter picks. There are some other kind of picks. Have maybe kind of surprised you with this new patch that have been rising up. Yeah, I feel like no one really likes so players at least no one likes Elomel because he's just he's so he's so unfun to play against. You know, no one actually likes it. He's fun to play, but he's just super. I don't like. Okay, I'm not gonna say the word. Un tío que no sea inglés. ¿Cómo cojones va a entender a este pavo? Imagínate que tiene un micro de mierda. Imaginaos al bote con un micro de mierda. Pero ¿quién coño, tío, te va a entender jugando, loco? Es surrealista, tío. 
No, he's made my life 11 hell because he's in the kitchen right now. So every time I walk out my room, he's just staring at me. He's just staring at me. He's beady eyes, you know? Like, a, like, a, like an insect. He's just staring at me. Can you tell me to the kitchen and turn on the microwave just to mess with him and if he ever kind of gets on your nerves? Well, that turns off everyone's internet, so it's just. Nika, vale, ese de Inglaterra. Yeah, for everybody. But you can always see him with it. Uh, Vo, you're going up against Kings here. Haven't had the best history up against the team as as a Darde, whole. Darde, Darde, no le entiende ni de coña. Change that up and maybe find a win for yourself. Neiruma, vale, Neiruma, sí. Well, El Fred, boof. The genetics just kind of like platinum level console rank, so if that may be the downfall. Well, hopefully it can all work out for you today. Thanks for your time, but I'll let you get back with the team to get ready for the game. Thank you. I just love how honest Messi. he was. Yeah, Neil's, Neil's been making it rough for him, but I, uh, but ultimately I think having him there has probably been a net positive for the team, even if it has been a bit of a bother for him. With his beady little eyes, <laughs> like an insect. The, those are like, dir that's, that's a direct, direct quote <laughs> from Vote. He'll look at me with those beady little eyes like an insect. That is a descriptor for Neil Ma, apparently. He's just watching. We got the, we got the Ma Musk and now the beady eyes like an insect just staring him down. But one thing that's going to be staring down both of these players is the King's dual lane, specifically Netroid and Genetics. On the other side of that, Netroid is one of the player to really talk about here. We talked a lot about Genetics with, you know, how many times people ban his God pool out, how many picks down he'll go in the pool. Metroid hasn't had to have that same. Te regalo 100 subs y uno de los casters dice tetas. Por qué le iba a decir en plan? Para la excusa. It doesn't look like that's slowing down anytime soon. Yeah, and and just made me think about it. I wonder how many of their games have had. Like okay, so uh, you know what? Admittedly, he's played a lot more than I was gonna give him credit for, which I will have to say was not a lot. I was gonna say he's played maybe two. El man es que para qué juego más partidas? He perdido dos, tío. It just feels like you give. Es que me quedo calvo, tío. Ya le quiero jugar otra, tío. And the Kings have now all of like that jumps to win chance. Como pierda esta sí que me pego un tiro, tío. Si pierdo esta me pego un tiro, chavales. He's got a wide variety of, of gods that he can play. Si pierde eso, me pego un tiro. For some reason, this one just fits. I think it's the ults, the way he connects with them, the, the control that he gets in lane. And that makes things a lot more interesting. Especially when we're talking about these picks and bans. In a lot more recent of these sets for the Kings, I've been saying that it feels almost like you have to ban this pick against him. If you add Uller into that mix, and then I look at this matchup, 100% ban rate from the Warriors against the Kings with a Ymir. All of a sudden, they're trying to control that dual lane pretty heavily. That covers three bans. Granted, some of those are much more wiggle. You could let the Ymir through, probably let the Rom through nowadays. But it just feels like there's a, a lot of pressure in that duo lane that the, the Warriors are going to have to overcome. You know, interesting enough, we haven't seen Ymir in quite some time. No, it, it, it is, it's been, been a little gone. while. It's been a while since we've seen Ymir. And really, it was kind of genetics who was the one who was having that band against him, primarily Rong Yu and Awesome Jake also kind of in that same discussion. But... With this duo lane, with Netroid being so comfortable on this ROM, even the Izanami has kind of been his second go-to, and then, as you talked just a little bit, the Heimdall is a third. Man, he, mal. he only ha only has to play those three hunters. What a shame that I've only got three hunters that I need to play to make my team successful. Netroid, got to be feeling good to be able to get some of those picks here, and it's maybe the only warriors you're going to have to take a look at that. One thing you were talking about, maybe this ROM is ban-worthy. He looks... More com uh, there are a few players that look more comfortable on a god than Netroid is with Rom because he just gets to sit in the back line, throw out those abilities. Oh, somebody's low. Let's press my ultimate and see if we can get a couple of those nice snipes. Yeah, he's played 19 games on Rom this year, so grand okay, okay, not, okay. not in not phase three. I don't know if they've even played 19 games. In Déjame phase three. tío. I don't think so. But he's won. No te quiero ni ver, loco. Oh, es wow. que no 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 quiero ni ver tío a ese hombre. No lo quiero ni ver tío. Like it's a lot of control. He's got a 71. Mi princesa muere de un ciudadano de la Palma, no verdad? Like, this is a good pick for Netroid. Then it drops down. I'm going to skip on her because he hasn't played that in a while. Then it drops down to, <laughs> to like Heimdall. And then, of course, we start talking about like the Izanami, which has been on the rise lately. And so that's where I think I'm going to have my eyes on uh, maybe those three picks. Of course, Uller's always in that conversation as of right now. Let's see where the Oni Warriors put their picks and bands here in game at number one. They will have Tengo que mover la cam so y el Clash Royale, tío. Me quedo calvo. This ROM away from Nitro. I've been talking a lot of bit about it, but I mean... You just talked about it. He almost had, what, 20 games played and nearly a 75% plus win rate on that god. Not many players in this game have win rates on gods with that many games played. The only ones that really come to mind are, like, Shinto with Raijin yep. and, like, Paul with Raijin or Tiamat. You know, those, those are the kind of names when you have well, better, dude. more than 10 to 15 games on a god and a 75 plus percent win rate. It might be time. Just keep that god out of their hands. First band's coming. He perdido, tío. Por mover la mierda. Esto, tío. 
amongst the supports. You know, it, it was Chiro funny, you know, Mifflin kind of called it, you know, he's a part of the new guard, you know, between him, the Geb, and the Sylvanas, and the new guard of fans. But it's so funny because he's one of the old guards of the support, but is the new guard in this meta because he's been cofre gigante in my puta vida, tío. Up until these most recent weeks of Prediction. Yeah, I don't have enough time, tío. Hermano, o juego al Clash Royale o hago Prediction de Pixie Bans. ¿Qué hago, tío? ¿Habrá un healer o no? Tenéis 30 segundos, chavales. No me da, no me da tiempo a otra cosa. ¿Habrá un healer en la partida o no, chavales? Tenéis 30 segundos. Considering how much of an impact we've seen that healing have. Two mages, ¿Quién es el de la palma? El, el espíritu de fuego. Lo he visto en TikTok hoy, he muerto de risa, tío. He muerto de risa. He muerto de risa. He muerto de risa. ¿Qué es el VIP por 6 meses? Pues te, con, te canjeas el VIP y eres VIP 6 meses. No está, la verdad que no tiene más misterio. Oh, Ardio made it through. That's a little unfortunate for them. Mainly because I forgot about Gev as well. I will admit that. I'll give myself the ups and the downs at the same time. But this is going to be an interesting dynamic for them. Ardio does... Look, we see her more in solo. She's more... Beneficial to have in solo lane and, and ah, que bien, tres healers, perfecto. The Warriors, Neil specifically, has been one of those players as a player as a sport, and I think that the genetics would be able to make that work if necessary. So it does still have a little bit of a flex pick. This has been a matchup well. that has been difficult for her now with the Cerberus locked in, and so that honestly to me makes me want to shift her maybe more into the duo lane just to get away from that. But I do think that we had mentioned vale, chale, cinco minutos. what we've seen in the past. Me tengo que echar un clash, tengo que ganar. Tengo que ganar, tengo que ganar esta partida. Y no la voy a enseñar. Seguro que gano. Hey, yo, Dani, muchas gracias, hermano, por esos seis meses. Te quiero, tío. Eh, bueno, a ver, pásamelo. Pero no estoy completamente And then once with that, I want to see it's been Nainu with Ho Yi mid. Those are the only two players we've seen for draw, the, phase, draw yeah. the, for the, yes, for this phase. Drawing those hunters towards the mid lane. Still some flex potential with this card. I'm not going to hold my breath on this one going immediately to duo lane. With Ardio and Terra locked in, does give a little bit of flex, but we have been seeing, because we have been seeing Terra go towards solo just a little bit more often as of recent, but with the Ardio kind of, kind of rounding this ya me han zumbado, one, tío. Maybe if this was Neil on this other side, Pepito here, el maybe, mago, tío. We still kind of are in the talking point of Ardio being support. Do you think the Ardio goes support up against this squad? Mm, probably not. I feel like Terra. Pepito gonna, el mago y un ejército de, de venezolanos, sí. Well, let me rephrase that. Ardio is just a better. Madre del amor hermoso, tío. Period. That's a blanket statement. Ay, el mega gay, cómo no. That is better than Terra, but cómo podría faltar el mega gay. Neither one really has like a great matchup. Ay, tiene service. hielo, okay. Has a better matchup versus service, at least in that regard. Plus, que la se vio para absolutamente nada. Oye, pero cuántos healers va a haber esta partida, loco? Me gusta, la verdad, me gusta. Yeah. Blanket for everybody, but also you do then have Maybe not like pressure against Uller Sylvanas. That's not the way to look at this. But survivability against Uller Sylvanas. You at least got that. Yeah, it's hard to pressure against Sylvanas to begin with. You know, Sylvanas, Yumoja, two guardians that really do provide a lot of pressure. La gente que pone los nombres a las cartas en el TikTok son mis ídolos. Yo me despojo vivo, tío. Te lo juro, tío. Es mortal. And a Discordia for the Camelot Kings. Not too many players out here still playing this mage. And... A little surprising. We only saw three mage bans. It was the Raijin, the Tiamat, and then the Morrigan was banned by the Camelot Kings. Then it was four, what I can only imagine, are all going to be jungle bans with that Nike. You already see the two Guardians on each side, which means that this Nike would have been a jungle ban. So between the Nike, Sirket, and then a Hunbat, Staji... El mazo de este pavo probablemente sea cinco y medio. And then, again, Metaro. really only two mid laners in this game, in this league, really playing the Hera, now being hovered here. 
Am I the only warrior? Hey, liking these mage selections coming out of these two teams. They feel very much these teams, right? Like Discordia is something that the Kings will play, and admittedly, I think the Warriors would play. Vale, esta se gana, raza, esta se gana. Pero mal, tío. Una puta nemesis, no me toque los huevos, eh. Scenario changes everything, though, and I really do like what they have against this. Plus, it's weird to think about, but like. Messi, Messi, Messi. Uh, Discordia para quitarse la Dardes. Y me dan 26 copas roñosas, tío. Hera, bueno, se va a quedar esto. If I'm not mistaken, Discordia is the god that has the most player damage. Eh, no me deja apostar. Ya ha apostado, John. 81 or is was it 81 or 87k? I can't 81. 81,000. So still, that's a lot of damage, no matter what. Phil Swift would be very proud about having those ones Fact, there. It and was 81,321. There you go. There's your, season five. there's your fun fact of the Qué tan rentable era es actualmente, no mucho. What God, who, ojalá alguien te, ojalá que te, y yo ojalá te quiten el ban compadre que nostalgia esos herculazos bueno no juego ninguno en la SPL pero sí Raba la verdad que ojalá me quiten el ban a lot that can be available for him, and it's the same thing we've been watching. What has Twig played lately? He's been playing a lot of like Loki, Susana. Argus is very good. He hasn't Susana, felt yeah. confident eh, on them when we bueno. ask him about those, but he has been playing them nonetheless. That's the thing that I think makes things a little more interesting for the Kings right now is that you're in a jungle meta where your jungler isn't as comfortable as some of the others, which isn't anything necessarily against Twig, it's just the style he likes to play is, you know, exactly what we had before. Not only the Warriors, but like your Najas, your setups. La única partida de culo que recuerdo que te hicieron fue con Bakasura solo en la SML, no sé qué significa eso. Que me follaron el culo. Hombre, si voy con Bakasura solo probablemente estuvimos jugando contra los peores. Y probablemente estuve troleando. ¿Qué team te gustaría que te fichara para el SPL? Eh, el Umban. El Umban team, la verdad. Vale, por lo menos no tenemos que escuchar a Goremiser dentro de la partida. No me gusta. Posibilidad de que te quite el ban, siempre. Y si no, nos vemos en los tribunales. No, mentira. Not a fun time for him, but rounding out this composition, they've got a decent amount of CC with this Ardeo. They've got the Terra here, both of them providing a good amount of healing for all of their team. Even on the opposite side, you have a Sylvanas who's going to provide tons of healing with the Wisp. We do got to see just what it could do last game in the hands of Inbound. We'll see what it can do here for Neil Ma in this game. Uh, just a little bit of a heads up to you guys. There is a little bit of a remake going for these players. We're going to get them in. Yo tengo una recolecta de firmas. Bueno, la recolecta de firmas tendrá la misma veracidad. Que la gente que se puso a tirarme mierda en Twitter Es decir, todo Significará todo, así que no me lo no, me... eh, no, no, no hagáis mierdas Oye, y Loke eh, probablemente no Porque me quiero ir a la cama rápido eh, mañana tengo que levantarme a las 8 de la mañana un alma por un alma A ver, la verdad es que 100% Si eso fuese En plan, un hecho Tipo Si alguien O sea, si yo digo Si, me, si alguien se ofrece a que le metan ban y, le, y me quiten el mío por, por ello Seguro que hay alguien que dice yo 100% En plan Ahora no Porque ahora todo el mundo está en plan super Oh sí eh, yo, me, yo me dejo que me van No juego más nunca más con tal que juegues tú No sé qué, no sé cuánto Y luego todo el mundo diciendo Nada, mejor Nada, mejor no Que lo haga otro, que lo haga otro ¿Sabes? Es la típica, es la típica El, el, el típico dilema moral, ¿sabes? Te dan un millón de euros cada vez que pulsas un botón ¿Cuántas veces lo pulsas? Y siempre hay un gracioso que dice que no Hasta que 
ve el millón de euros en la, delante. Oh. Anda que no lo puso ahí. Es cierto, tío, en realidad que nos banean a nosotros, da igual porque te haces un alter, pero te banean de hardware, te banean de IP, o sea, te banean de todo, no puedes jugar más nunca más. Me cogería la madre del que te bancó con tal de que te lo quiten. Hombre, y si es una mil. But also then adding the names and saying, okay, well, it's Dardez's Hera and it's Cubo's Nemesis, then it makes it balance out a lot more, right? It's a very, very solid just meta top three and then a very solid us top or bottom two for the Warriors. So I really like their draft in terms of si cambias el PC. like nature. Eh, vale, perfecto, tío. Gástate 50.000 euros, ¿sabes? Ardio Terra. <laughs> Ar Oye, esta mierda va a empezar o qué hace, loco? Software para cambiarte el MAC address y la IP. Eh, vale, Anonymous, tranquilo, tío. <risa> loco. Eh, que era una, hipo era una eh, situación hipotética, loco. Que es, ¿eh? ¿Qué edad te gusta más? Eh, donde no haya una Nemesis, la verdad, pero... Es que Susano Discordia no me gusta. Prefiero, prefiero el de Oni Warriors. Me gusta más. Pero Nika con Cerberus se lo va a pasar bastante bien contra Discordia. Así que a ver qué tal. No es anónimo en Google. Eh, vale, Mr. Robo, tranquilo. Un tiro entra bien, un tiro entra bien siempre en cualquier lado. Pero Variety lleva un art, tío. Hera is really good at disrupting a lot of the back line, especially with Argus chasing people down. It's good at helping separate the team a little bit. Stygian Torment from Cerberus, as well as his passive, really helps deal with that healing. Que bien. Me dan basura siempre. Piensas tener Julito Junior. ¿Qué coño significa eso? Ah, que si quiero tener hijos. Eh, no. Tengo una vasectomía hecha. En muchos de estos teamfights, Terra ult, all of a sudden skyrockets es algo que es importante. Pero creo que los Warriors tienen un buen draft para lidiar con los Vikings. Oye, ¿podemos irnos ya, tío, al game? Tipo, tú sabes, ¿no? Admittedly, si pueden controlar esta Discordia y Susano lo suficiente, no creo que tengan tanto que preocupar. Gormizer, tengo algunas buenas noticias para ti. We're almost about to hop into that game, players. Ah, almost. Como me digan, quick break, verás. I remember watching that dragon set with the scarabs, and it was just hit that axe toss on the Sylvanas, and he was dead. Let's see if we see a repeat of those Zuler performances here in game number one. Only warriors and kings. Let's take it to Dolson and Agro. One final set to round out this weekend. Ooh, me gusta Dolson y Agro. The only warriors versus the Camelot kings. Dolson, Agro, and Doug. Eres eh, estéril como el Nile ese, ¿quién es Nile? Chavales, que no sé quiénes son los... No sé quiénes son los influencers de hoy en día. Sé quién es Willy Rex, tío. Sí, creo que... Es solo una cuestión de Really, really good teams. I mean, they've got how many world championships between all of them? I mean, ah, ya sé quién es el el pavo que la lió que flipa, ¿no? Ay, qué carajo ha pasado ahora. El que salió en una entrevista con el nota este, ¿no? El el que hace las charlas estas de sexo y esa mierda, ¿no? El de que follaba sin condón. ¿Qué problema hay con follar sin condón? O sea, el problema no era ese. El problema es que creo que como que se corría dentro de las tías, ¿no? Sin sin decirse o algo así. Porque era estéril, ¿no? Sí, ¿no? <risa> Ese pavo, tío. Ese pavo no está cancelado. O sea, a mí me han cancelado por decir retrasado y autista. Y un pavo por decir esa barbaridad. No es, o sea, no está en la cárcel. No, no está ya con, con, con Jesucristo, tío. 
A ver, voy a mirar el Insta o algo. ¿Cómo, cuál, ¿Cuál es su Insta? Nail Darrechi Pero si tiene 7 millones, cabrón A ver los comentarios I don't know the easier group, however that might work out. Sure. So, still have the ability to jump on up there. The only Warriors do with four sets, sets still yet to play. But starting off that final stretch of four games against the Camelot Kings, a team that has had a lot of success so far this phase, has had some stumbles. Yep. But a team that you expect. Cabrón, pero si no le ponen, no, no, yeah, no le. ¿Dónde están los comentarios de mierda, tío? Cinco mil comentarios. Maybe you don't prepare quite as hard or aren't as locked in mentally for a game like this. Aquí, 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 aquí. Vomitar viendo a un influmierder. No estarás free por mucho tiempo. Yo creí que estabas en la cárcel. ¿Alguien me explica por qué no estás en la cárcel? Espero ver tu primera foto en Terrejas. ¿No que te iban a meter preso? ¿Por qué hay tantos comentarios buenos? Aún hay fans de este, cabrón, si tiene 7 millones. Yo, Sent, con esos 17. Muchas gracias, Sent, hermano, por esos 17 bien perrotes. Le cancelaron la promo y colapsa a él y el monstruo papi. Sí, la verdad es que no entiendo tampoco qué hace el nota este subiendo eso, en plan. O sea, no estoy, no estoy defendiendo que, pero me refiero. El monstruo papi está en la charla con, con el, el narín este, el narín, como coño se llame. Y el pavo suelta esa barbaridad y no corta el vídeo y dice, hermano, fuera de aquí, tío. En ese momento... O sea, gracias... Gracias a que subió el... Gracias a que subió el vídeo ese, pues nos dimos cuenta de la rata que era, ¿no? Que es lo que dice mucha peña. Pero... Es que ese vídeo no se tendría que haber subido en ningún momento, ¿sabes? Tipo... O sea, sí que lo tienes que exponer, supongo, pero es que es una situación muy rara, hermano. ¿Cómo puedes decir eso, tío? Que eso es una fumada, ¿eh? Mozo Papi se estaba riendo de lo que decía. ¿En serio? <risa> Joder, pues normal que le hayan tirado mierda al otro también. En plan, no entendía por qué le habían tirado mierda, ¿sabes? A no ser que, claro, hubiese dicho algo raro el otro también, pero vamos. No sé. Eso es muy raro. Eso es un fumadote, tío. Y es verdad, tío. O sea, es que yo no sé hasta... Eso es... O sea, denunciable, evidentemente sí es, supongo, pero... ¿Hasta qué punto puede...? ¿Sabes? Plan, porque hay un montón de peña preguntando que si estaba preso y no sé qué. Claro, es que no sé si hay... En plan, el código penal estará escrito o algo así. Supongo que luego cuando vayan al... O sea, en... es que no sé, ¿se puede calificar como asalto o violación o algo así? Sí, no, violación. Y porque no está en la cárcel. Es que no lo hizo, solo iba de fantasma. Esa sí es su defensa. ¡Ojo, Neruma huele muerto! ¡Nice shield! Las jambas no lo han denunciado, creo. Hombre, cabrón, si no lo sabían, ¿cómo lo van a denunciar? Hombre, a ver, me refiero, si el pavo les dice que, eh, que es estéril o lo que sea, 
y es mentira. Y las otras dicen, vale, entonces córrete dentro. Pues ahí digo yo que no hay ningún problema, ¿sabes? Pero si el pavo está mintiéndole diciendo que no es estéril... ¿Sabes? O sea, yo no sé hasta qué punto eso califique como violación, ¿sabes? Pero no tengo ni puta idea, ¿eh? Yo estoy hablando aquí... Estoy lanzando zots al aire. O sea, ¿qué se supone que tiene que hacer? ¿Pagarle la pensión a los 24 hijos que pueda tener o qué? No entiendo Podéis darme un consejo para aprender inglés Se me hace difícil entenderlo cuando me hablan Pero escrito si lo sé A ver, si tienes una base Una base decentilla, ¿vale? No te digo que tengas un C1 Pero aunque sea Entender y hablar y escribir más o menos, ¿vale? En plan básico, medio básico Escucha todo en inglés eh, Ponte todo en inglés Lee en inglés Haz todo en inglés Tu vida entera tiene que ser en inglés A ver, igual cuando vayas a hablar con tus colegas En plan, quedáis en el parque, tío A jugar al fútbol No te pongas a hablar en inglés Porque igual vas a parecer un puto pringado, ¿sabes? Habla inglés con los que quieran aprender inglés Es mucho más fácil Aprender inglés con alguien Que está aprendiendo inglés Que con un nativo ¿Por qué? Porque usan expresiones eh, Acentos raros Puede ser cerrado tipo Escocia Como el bote, ¿sabes? Etcétera, etcétera Pero Te recomiendo que hagas todo en inglés es mentir para poder follar, pero si no, no es violación. Pero en plan, es para poder follar sin condón, porque digo yo que el pavo, o sea, vale, sí, follar con condón es peor. Entre comillas, me refiero. No quiero enfermedad ni nada raro, ¿sabes? Pero que sí, que, que lo notan más, etcétera, etcétera, que es más placentero. Eh, pero ¿qué pasa? Que no se, podría, no se, no se puede poner un condón en el pavo. ¿Cuántas tías habrá follado este hombre? No creo que con pocas, ¿no? ¡Ojo, Cubo Fred! ¡Qué puta mierda si ese blink! No te gustaría conocer México. Eh. Me gusta la comida. Sin picante, gracias. Penetración sin condón, sí que la chica lo sepa, se considera violación. Escúchame, hermano, pero es que, ¿qué pasa? Que el pavo este drogaba a las tías y luego se las zumbaba o qué, no, no. Digo yo que las pavas le darían consent, o sea, le darían consent, ¿no? El, o sea, vamos a ver, si me habéis dicho que el pavo se hacía pasar por estéril cuando no lo era, ese es el problema, ¿sabes? No que las esté violando. Sí, a ver, no las está violando si la pava está cediendo a... a... No, no es violación si las tías quieren fallar con él. Me refiero, si el pavo dice que es estéril y las tías le dicen, vale, pues córrete dentro. Digo yo... Digo yo que no es violación. Pero es algo raro, ¿sabes? O sea, evidentemente por la ética y todo el rollo Bueno, eso sin comentarios Pero... Claro, tío, o sea, yo, yo tengo entendido que violación es Forzar a la otra persona, ¿sabes? Abuso sexual Pero es que es abuso sexual, tío o sea, que no lo estoy defendiendo ni nada, ¿sabes? Evidentemente no Lo que ha hecho, pues, o lo que ha dicho que ha hecho Está jodido eh, Pero... Es raro, ¿no? O sea, es para abrir un debate Exacto, es para, es para abrir un debate Lo que los Warriors han hecho con Dardas Con algunas de las prioridades Porque si piensas en el año pasado Y Dardas Y Dardas ese un hijo de puta, pero violador es otra cosa. Sí, cabrón, o sea, no creo que haya violado a ninguna tía, ¿sabes? Pero igual sí que, o sea, lo de mentirles con los Sterling y eso sí que es... Pero 
Sería abuso porque abusa la confianza de la otra persona. Ya, pero yo es que no sé cómo de... ¿Sabes? Es que como... Oh, sí, ha abusado de mi confianza. Eso es... Eh... Eso se puede llevar como argumento a un debate, tío. O sea, un... Oye, el Neiruma es súper tanque, cabrón. Vale, fair blow para los Kings. O sea, a un, a un juicio, perdón, a un debate, no, a un debate me importa una mierda el debate. Yo digo a un juicio. A un juicio tú puedes llegar y decir como argumento, eh, oye, que abusa de mi confianza. Te van a decir, bueno, pues no haber confiado en él, ¿no? Deja el tema antes de liarla, pero es que yo no estoy liando nada, en plan... O sea, ¿qué supone que voy a liar? Solo lo dijo para llamar la atención. No sé, eh, yo tengo 7 millones de seguidores y no digo algo tan sumamente perjudicial para llamar la atención, la verdad. Bueno, a ver. Prediction. Vamos a ver cuántas veces muere Neiruma. ¿Cuántas veces? ¿Cuántas muertes tendrá Ney antes del minuto 15? No, vamos a poner 18. Vale, cuatro menos o cinco más. Tenéis un minuto, chavales. Tuvimos relaciones bajo esta condición porque dijo que es este. Yo tomaría eso como algo imputable, pues es una de las bases para que el acto ocurriese de tal forma y llegase a esos resultados. ¿Eso que se supone que es? ¿Gold? La... Un acto de atentado contra quien está en la vida y el cambio Está en por una falacia Realmente se ve muy feo, pero en el momento judicial no sabría catalogarlo Es que yo creo que es eso, es que es, depende, el, depende del, del juez, ¿no? Quizás O sea, yo creo que moral, evidentemente, moralmente, éticamente, lo que sea, como quieras catalogarlo Sí que, sí que está muy jodido y tal, pero... Eh, si yo te digo que soy primo de Messi y por eso quieres follar conmigo y te das cuenta de que no lo soy, no soy un violador y eso me imputa. <risa> Porque me ha hecho tanta gracia, tío. A ver, <risa> eh, a ver, bueno Es que no sé, tío Es que en parte tiene razón Pero claro, es que es un ejemplo más Menos radical, ¿no? Creo O sea, en, o sea, en parte tiene razón, pero como que lo otro es más Es más duro, ¿sabes? No sé, hermano No sé, es muy raro, la verdad No, no, no te voy a engañar Walking into the Warriors jungle and going heavy on invades or anything like that. They're just at every neutral camp. They're at every neutral spawn. And they're being and they're aggressive in defending Ooh. their buffs, not being on the offensive. Captain Twig had to avoid the pull there from Neoma. There is the ability to kind of chain up some CC here. Neoma gets a pull, he gets stunned from Boat. Boat might not be able to stun out here though. If he's gonna get jumped on like this, salva. So Ojito, Captain Twig, que se me muere. Y esto puede ser. 
Esto puede ser una gol para Oni Warrior, maybe. Muy bien, Cubo Fred ahí forzando la X a Bigman. Se roban el red, tranquilet. La roban Netroid, maybe. La roban Netroid, maybe. Nope. Ojo, Variety que llega para la rotación. Dios, qué daño, cabrón. Ojito Neiruma se me va a morir Dios, cómo se ha notado la puta Ardio, cabrón Huge rotation, boys Una una a una me dijo que las leyes no se hacen pensando en gente imbécil Y por eso en muchos casos tardan en llegar a la condena <risa> La verdad que sí, tío, hay gente muy subnormal Gente bastante imbécil Man, it feels like some some high tier picks got let through that we're not used to seeing here. I mean, I'm I'm looking at it now. Get the Ardio on one side, the the Terra for genetics, vote on the Uller, Nikon Cerberus. And I guess on, when you when you have two teams where a handful of the players on either team demand very specific pick bans against them, you tend to get put into situations like this. And the Oni Warriors have shown some fight given their good composition here, but those are the moments where the Camelot Kings are able to turn these games around, give themselves con Dios recomendable el Lusto, como Warrior Axe, siempre el Lusto. Ojito Neiruma que me pone la... Me, ojito Neiruma que me pone interesante la apuesta. Ojito Neiruma que me pone interesante la apuesta. No le van a condenar ni apareciendo con una ex embarazada le van a condenar. Como mucho le sacan pensión. Lo que sí que re ha recibido el juicio popular y ya está tachado de por vida. Yo lo sigo viendo con 7 millones de seguidores en Insta, la verdad. For the Warriors because Vote didn't have his relics at the time and he is your win condition now. I mean it is variety versus vote. They're the only two players on the Maybe Neil thought that it's worth his life in order to get that extra farm for the Warriors, but si fuera al revés y la tía dijese vente dentro, ah, correte dentro, mañana me tomo la pastilla y no se la toma es violación. Eh, no. Given the way that they both performed here in recent metas, Twig will uh, will dash away here. That that animation looks eerily close to a blink, and so I thought he had just blinked away. But no. No sé qué sea exactamente la verdad. Yo creo que es bastante parecido al caso de ese hombre, ¿no? Más o menos. ¿Cuántas veces más tiene que morir en Iruma? Eh, una. Ojito con este invade al red que me lo puede. Espérate, ¿qué, qué minuto puse? Antes del 18. Uf, creo que no se me va a morir, eh. Ojito, eh. Ojito que se me va a morir el Neiruma en este invade. Ojito que se me va a morir Neiruma en este invade. Se, me va, se va a morir, se va a morir, se va a morir Neiruma Le quedan 15 segundos para morir Por favor que linkeo o algo, tío No. <risa> Casi me la lía, tío Vale, chavales, ¿quién se va en la siguiente gol? Tenéis un minuto tenéis un minuto chavales 
Aunque tenga 7 millones, la gente de fuera siempre le tendrá por el tonto que decía que era estéril. Ya, pero sigue teniendo 7 millones de seguidores. <risa> Me refiero... En TikTok seguirá teniendo los mismos. Tendrá las mismas reproducciones, más o menos. En, en Insta lo mismo. ¿Sabes? Plan... Evidentemente pues está tachada de por vida Por ciertas personas Pero Seguro que hay un montón de peña Que le, que le cusa y de todo A ver, ¿matará a alguien? Al Neiruma, cabrón Porque no ha matado al Neiruma, al Netroid Se ha empanado oh, Dios, era free, eh ¿Qué porcentaje de seguidoras mujeres tendrá? Yo creo que quizás muchas tías que le siguen serán muy menores, tipo 13, 14, 15 años, y no se habrán enterado de absolutamente nada. Pero, o sea, es el prototipo de influencer eh, guapo, con perrito así, para que la chat y le contesten todo el rato, no sé qué, tatuajes... No sé cuánto, ¿sabes? En plan... 100% más del, más del 60, 70% son tías. Y de ese 60, 70%, la mitad seguramente ni se habrán enterado de lo que ha pasado. Y si se han enterado y le siguen siguiendo... Hombre, sería un poco raro, la verdad. Porque yo sigo a una tía... Uh, ¡Oh, Dios! ¡Bow! Me la puesto durísima, ¿eh? ¡Dios! O sea, imaginaos, ¿vale? Que vuestra influencer fa favorita, ¿vale? Eh, de repente... Eh, os enteráis de que... Es una... O sea, de que abusa en sus relaciones... Y yo qué sé, tío Y humilla a los tíos en las relaciones y de todo, ¿sabes? Ojito que el de Iruma no se muere todavía No se va a morir nadie aquí Darden, maybe El variante está full vida, ¿eh? Qué bien, está súper bien la era, la verdad O sea, yo creo Por cierto, ¿quién se ha llevado la gol? ¿Quién se ha llevado la gol? ¿Quién se ha llevado la gol? Tony Warriors, vale, vale Bueno, me refiero Yo, yo dejaría de seguir a la, a la tipa esta, ¿sabes? Y yo, ¿100% se la lleva a Tony Warriors? Sí, ¿no? Claro. Si está buena, no le quito el follow Y yo, me la ha puesto durísima el bote, ¿eh? Con esa play una estrella porno contó que violó a un niño en su primera vez y no le pasó nada. ¿Qué? ¿Qué dices, tío? Para ver quién se va a llevar el fire, chavales. Tenéis un minuto. Eh, literal, Chris Brown, cabrón ¿Cuán, ¿Cuántos tweets habré visto yo De la foto de, de la De la Rihanna Dada de hostias Ojito eh, ¿cuántas, ¿Cuántas fotos, tío? Eh, ¿Cuántos tweets y de todo intentando cancelar al Chris Brown? Y ahí sigue el cabrón, hermano Con millones y millones y millones y millones en el banco, loco ¿Sabes? O sea, la, en plan... Nunca he visto que le afecte a un famoso. Hombre, que yo sepa cómo se llama, tío, el de Pirata del Caribe, tío. A ese pavo no le jodieron, al Johnny Deep. Por la, por la chati y al final resultó resultó que la chati era el que le estaba 
eh, abusando de él y no sé qué, no sé cuánto. Pues a ese se le canceló de esa manera, ¿no? ¿O no? No sé, yo vi un tweet hace tiempo así que se la luz no sé qué mierdas. Pero no. Y claro, y, y esa plan... O sea, la pava le maltrataba un montón y no sé qué, no sé cuánto. El Johnny Deep le jodieron papeles o lo que sea. Y la pava no sé quién coño es ni nada, pero... ¿Qué te juegas a que no ha tenido ninguna... Ninguna... Repercusión mala hacia ella, ¿sabes? ¿Qué te juega, hermano? Considera a Jordi NP un influencer de ejemplar de España. Hombre, es un actor. Que sea actor porno ya. No sé, influencer. No es actor y ya. Ahora también es influencer. Hermano, qué puto daño hace el bote, tío. Que ese pavo tiene doble defensa, eh. Ninguna consecuencia. ¿Ves? O sea, qué cojones, tío. Eso, eso es súper raro también, ¿eh? En plan, no digo porque sea una tía ni nada, pero... Que el, el chaval este, el Johnny Deep, esté todo jodido ahí y la pava ahí está tranquila, ¿sabes? Ah, está en Aquaman. Yo es que Aquaman no la he visto, tío. Esa es la del Jason Momoa. Está confirmada de las dos. Yo no me he visto ni la primera. La verdad. A mí el Johnny Deep sí que me gustaba bastante como Andor. A mí me hacía gracia. Jason mamado. <risa> Y es que soy más de Jason Statham, la verdad Esperando esto ya que saque una puta película, tío la, Lo que sí que me gustó, mira, a mí, a mí, a mí siempre me, ha, me han gustado mucho Bueno, los megalodones y eso, ¿vale? En plan, ver cosas del mar y demás Y pues muchas veces salían, pues salían vídeos de Catul no sé qué Las típicas tonterías, ¿sabes? La, la típica talasofobia y esa mierda, ¿sabes? Y, y, y un día soñé que Jason Statham venía a salvarme en el mar de un megalodón. Y literal... ¡Uy, qué gallazo! Y yo, literalmente, a la semana siguiente sacó una película que se llama Megalodón. La película es una mierda, sí. Pero literalmente a la semana sacó una... Y yo, fue el destino, loco. Os lo juro por mi madre, tío. Fue precioso, tío O sea, mi cara de niño feliz, tío Fue espectacular La película está buena de que es una mierda, cabrón Es una mierda, tío La película es una mierda Pero como está Jason Statham, pues es un 10, ¿sabes? En mi, en mi libro, por lo menos O la de Crank, esa eh, no sé qué en las venas, ¿cómo era? Eso es mortífero, hermano Crank, veneno en las venas, algo así, ¿no? No sé, buenísimo, tío. ¿Te imaginas cómo da misela en apuros? Es que no sé cómo me vas a imaginar como un, un, un tiburón de 20 metros comiéndome, la verdad. Bueno, pues free gol para los Kings. Y ya no paráis de perder, sois unos cabrones. Votáis para los Kings, ganan los Onis. Votáis para los Onis, ganan los Kings. <risa> Soy unos putos pringados, tío. Ay, no me, no me toquen los huevos, tío. No me toquen los huevos. No me toquen los huevos que eran fire. Y yo. Por favor. Padre nuestro está en los cielos. Haz que Camelot King se lleve el fire. Por favor, tío. Por favor. Por favor, tío. Por favor. Por favor, hermano. Por favor, tío. 
else. We will, we will shift our eyes now. Por favor, right Dio. Por favor. Por favor, Dio. Was, that's a good word for it. We're getting close. You know, with, with, with how slow we kind of were favor, in that primal fury, there, there is a world aggro. Or this fire giant dance last. Por favor, uh, que gane Camelo Kings la partida y se lleve el fire y de todo, tío. Oh yeah. And with the map state now, that, that is a huge difference. One tower missing. On, uh, or, or y yo por two, favor, two tío. No, no, oh, Varietti, no. No me troles, no me troles. Puto tonto se gasta bits. Ay, le van a robar el fire, tío. Por favor, no, tío. De Camelo Kings desde chiquitito. Ay, Varietti, deja de trolear. Que lo curen, que lo curen, por favor. The, the Nemesis ultimate to shred protections for him. <laughs> but you know what's really good to kill tanks is taking like all of their protection. For yeah, right. Not, just some of them. Not just some of them. Ooh, nearly another pull for Neoma. Suddenly tell the only warrior starting to push a little bit further forward. Pyromancer is low here, and the warriors will steal it away. I think it's Mira, como saben eso en el fire me acabo de dar, eh. Except for the fact that it's the only warriors, not a massive swing. No. Definitely doesn't feel great for the Camelot Kings. You gotta survive. Por favor. Sí, 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 sí. Twig, no te mueras, hijo puta. Vamos, vamos, bien, 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 bien. Dar de fuera de posición, matarlo, matarlo. Un dash genetics, un dash. Ay, dios, qué puta troleada. Huye, huye, huye. Nice, nice. Free fire, free fire, free fire. Por favor. Baitead, 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 baitead. Vale, vale, vale. Tweak, no, no. <risa> Eres un inútil, tío. Hijo puta, tío. ¿Qué haces comprando en la SPL ahí? Very easily from that position. Neil got one shot, didn't get his shell off, didn't get his ultimate off. That was really worst case scenario for the Oni Warriors, who yeah. I think may have lost their patience a little bit with that engagement with Nika. He got a lot, he got a lot. Yeah, I got beats. But that, but Varietti, te recuerdo que no tienen beats. These fights are just so quick in the later stages that getting beads at 30 minutes isn't always enough. You know, you've got to be able to to get beads while staying safe, and Nika could never do that from that position. Yep. Yeah, you know, we're already 45 seconds back to Captain Twigs. Variety will be there in 30 seconds, minute and a half on Netroid. For Big Man Tinks was plenty safe that entire fight. He uses alt instead, which was very smart, because then it's guaranteed to hit Nika anyways. I mean, That's right. He's barrel stuff. ¿Qué pasa si se hace el fire Oni? Pues que entonces he dado la apuesta que no era. Porque pensaba que era la puta gol, tío. Oh, Dios mío, tío, por favor, no me troleis. Full five versus five, all ten players back on the map. There is an enhanced fire giant now out and standing with the Camelot Kings, given how the last fight went, able to work a little bit further. Regresa forward. la apuesta, que no puedo, y yo, que, que, que lo creéis, tío. Feels like the starts of these fights, Agro, have been... If Neuma can find a great pull, then you're able to collapse on that. Otherwise, you're hoping Nika, with this blink in ten seconds, can... Get some value with that Stygian Torment, but three of the four sets of beads are already back. Yeah, not a, then look at the beads, the situation, or relics. No trolleis, no trolleis, por favor, no trolleis. Dejad el puto fire y baitead, tío. Que ahí el Darden no tiene relics, por favor, tío. Continue to rain down damage from the back here, about the best that he can do. Stun onto Variety, Genetics walks forward. That would have been a big stun onto Vote. Cuidado con el bling de Silvanus, le quedan 10 segundos. Ah, no, ah, no, que no tiene bling de Silvanus. This kind of continued range whittling down of the health bar seems to be doing okay for the Oni Warriors. Vote has hit some damage, Dardes has as well. And so if Genetics uh, is able to group up with his team, those health bars will be just fine. Huele mal para Ginks, no es que huele mal para Ginks, huele a troleada. It's felt okay for the Warriors. Interesting that Genetics has Blink as a second relic because we haven't seen it since like Wave 2, whatatever, he, he blinked on Vote. And Yeah, could try to make me. it happen there. He, he tried to blink in and kill Nika at the very end of that last fight, but that obviously didn't work. It doesn't seem like the Kings want to be the initiators, and for good reason. I don't think they really need to be. The, the way the oh, de hacer the goals y ir al puto so fire, tío. No, 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 no. But if he's in pull range, he's in root range, so th that's not something we have to respect a whole lot. Twig plus Neptrioid equals Oni Fury for the Camelot Kings. That's why the Oni Warriors walk up just a little bit further now. They clear out some of that ward coverage. But immediately back 
to their side of the jungle. You have to look at, at, at waves. How are the waves pushing and pulling? No exposed phoenixes, no existing fire minion waves. So, so no bases really under threat in moments like this. It's really yeah. all on only warriors of the Camelot Kings to find that engagement. But it looks like a bit of a scattering here, Aggro, and we'll go back to farming, maybe finalize some of those builds, get our supports a little bit closer to level 20. I think that since the Oni Fury got introduced, this is the least impactful 33-minute Oni Fury I've ever seen. Because normally this would put some pressure on, right on a, a Phoenix, a Phoenix or something, uh, right. or, or so, you know. Con esa gol huele mejor, pero si no han hecho nada los cabrones. Opening up a Phoenix line. I don't think the Warriors have to respect this left side Oni wave at all. No, they don't get tier one. I don't think it gets tier two. And even if it does get tier two, it gets gobbled up before it gets to Phoenix. Now, opening up a Phoenix line is big for the Kings if that does happen, but I don't know. I'm not an Oni Fury expert, but I've watched a lot of them from this position, and I feel pretty confident. You'd figure the Oni Warriors would be an Oni right, Fury expert. So. But, nice, uh, nice. They're the ones fighting against it right now. So a couple of the minions make their way to the tier one on left. But not, not worried about it is really the way to boil that down. The Warriors don't really have to be concerned about the left side of the map. Tier 1 does end up falling. Vale, a ver, no me troleis. Nice poke. Vale, bien, Varietti. Pokea con el Warriors. Varietti, pokea con el Warriors. Pokea con el Warriors, Varietti. Gracias. Nice. El fire a mitad de vida. No me troleis, por favor. Resetead el fire y pelead, eh. Gracias. Por favor. Resetead el fire y pelead, eh. Gracias. Their hearts will turn and they'll back out of the pit. There's sustain on both ends, so all this poking doesn't really amount to too much on either end, even though it is fairly significant between these, you know, Sundering Axe procs and the Uller poke and all that good stuff. It is good damage numbers, and but it's it's not actually going to stick to anyone on either side. Found it kind of interesting that Fred blinked away from Twig as he was clearing out that mid wave, because he had Magi's up, and that Wind Siphon was only going to get the Magi's. So normally you would think, oh, I want to expend the shorter cooldown in this moment, which is right. Magi's by like double. It is, it is, it comes up twice as fast as that blink, but. Fred uses the blink anyway, so a bit surprised, but his Magi's is on cooldown now, so clearly got some value out of it in that skirmish. Well, the big thumbs up I think that we give to Dardes is that it ends up being an at the end No, no, no! I'm not gonna get a chance to talk about it. Big stun from Nika. Ojo, Bouta, uno de vida. Sí, sí, sí. Target number one, he's way Por favor, por favor, sí. Walking beneath the tier two tower, Stingy and Torment. Huge, huge. There's genetics there as well, and the health bar's dwindling. Vale, vale, ahora no me troleis, no me troleis, Netroid, no, 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 me estás troleando, Netroid. Nice, Tash. Vamos, let's go. Eh, podéis ir a hacer el fire, por favor, no quiero, ir, no quiero que finiseis, no me sirve que finiseis. No, Big Man, ¿qué coño haces? Bucky fire, Bucky fire, Bucky fire, Bucky fire. Vale, bien, 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 bien. You know, how does that happen? Because he knows he's such a critical linchpin for how these fights are going to play out. Just too easy for the Kings to get that damage onto him. And it's that ultimate from Netruot, li like we were talking about. Vale, free go Ten, uh, fight. Well, free fight. Yep, that, that really makes the difference. This game now broken wide open. The Camelot Kings win a vale, big fight. Vale, no, chavales? 6,000 gold plus in the lead. Enhanced Fire Giant on all five. 36 minutes in, you're still waiting for Kivo Fred for 15 minutes. Vale, tenéis 30 segundos para apostar, chavales. GG con este fire, sí o no. Uf, menos mal, tío. Menos mal. Estaba todo estresado, tío. Estaba todo estresado. Around this fire giant. Estaba todo estresado. But both fights have been Yo ya no me fío, mira, no seáis cabrones, tío, que eso sin querer y además ha salido bien. No nos rayamos. No nos rayamos. variety. <sighs> 416 on your audio. That's going to be tough to beat. Now he's got a mantle of Discord. Maybe he even had a mantle of Discord. Just haven't seen it procked yet. <sighs> on the back end of that build. 
Ya no quiero apostar mis 100 puntillos, no te preocupes. Eh. Porque tan poquito tiempo. Porque pensaba que iban a finishar del tirón, la verdad. Normalmente pongo un minuto, pero pensaba que iban a finishar ya. We're trying to end. Yeah, could end. You can skip those. Could end. Nika, Neuma, there Ford. Watch out for the pull from this Sylvanas. And it's on to Genetics. And a lot of damage pours into the Terra. Terra will dash away. Some sustain, remember, on the back side of this fight here. Not a tick of damage on the left side, Phoenix, just yet. There is a wave approaching the right side, exposed Phoenix. And mid lane, Phoenix open as well. So the Camelot Kings will send all five to the left with a bit of a floater here in Captain Twig. Between left and mid. Huh. It looks like one five man grouping to left to maybe end this game. Interesting that Twig is here. I think he might win that 1v1 up against Fred, but doesn't try and split it. Oh, oh well, the genetics. The and there's the and Fury, and this fight has started. It's a pull back through, but Twig immediately back out. Look at Variety. He's Oye, just walked Phoenix? into the back line and Gracias. puts everyone out from Ojito. the Oni Warriors. A good ultimate, though, from Cubo uh, Fred on the Twig. Eh? Keeps the Susano yeah, out of muerto. melee range. Genetics melted through, and it's vote oh, on the well, I can have GG, <laughs> having so many troubles getting fight started in the right way. I mean, it's a Blink, Earth, and Fury from, from the Terra, and the Warriors are just so spread out. They, they don't have to stress about it. They don't get hit by any follow-up CC. There's no follow-up Blink coming from the rest of the squad until a few seconds later, and it's on a different part of the fight. The King's just not able to to match that same pressure. Oh, he's got him! What a read from Big Man Tings. Vote walk forward. And BMT dropped the strife. Two tapped him. Sent out the one. The old two tap. Ojo BMT porque puede haber GG. Ojito porque puede haber GG, eh. Ojito porque puede haber GG, eh. 40 segundos. Ojito, eh. Ojito, eh. Ojo porque pueden pushar derecha, eh. Ojito como Fred, maybe. Dios, qué malo eres, Twig, cabrón. Eres horrible. Bueno, han tirado los tres Fénix. Fénixes. Fénix. Fénix. Quillo, ¿cuál es el plural de Fénix, tío? No tengo ni puta idea, eh. A ver, a ver, a ver esta mierda. I can't tell if Vote was trying to do the same thing. He was. Yeah, he's he's hunting Big Man, trying to see if he's... So he shows his back animation oh, goodness. right there to make Vote think he's back. That's Soul Gem proc, too. Yes, wow. sir. It's Phoenix. Y ya está. Ah, vale. Good night. Luckily, Vote is back on the map. Eh, hey, vale, no hay... Hay... better than all mages, by the way. Just so we're all on the same page. You know, I just don't want anyone to look at that and think, wow, mages are really broken. Yeah, it's moments like that where you're nervous that suddenly all the mages are going to get nervous. Vale, chavale, uh, predictium. Yeah. Habrá GG antes del 46 Nada, voy a poner el 45 Tenéis un minuto, chavales Un minuto para apostar Habrá GG antes del minuto 45, sí o no Tenéis un minuto y luego habrá tres minutos Another enhanced fire giant here in just a moment and three phoenixes. Ojito que aquí se está liando, eh. Hello. Maybe it's your best chance. You take a fight outside your own base. But Vote misses the execute. He'll get pulled back in. Dardas finishes off the kill anyway. And the only warriors get away with one. Looks like they'll lose one in exchange. But Netroid gets picked up. Ay, la Virgen María. ¿Qué está pasando? Vaya pedazo de set, cabrón. Qué guapo. Dios, hermano, el mod está pelando. Dios, esto es huge. Esto es huge, cabrón. In that moment, love that play from Boat, who just says, "Hey, man, it didn't work the last time. I'm gonna try and do it again." But Dardes can't get caught here by Big Man Ting. Someone pings him out, and Dardes will be able to back up. Doesn't get greedy for that is. red buff. An unbelievable game, and the Warriors have some life down three Phoenixes because left side Phoenix is gonna be up for sure. Yeah. Mid Phoenix is gonna Tengo get hambre, close. All they really have to worry about is your right. Do they have time Phoenix. to do this? You think? 
Ojo, ojito. No sé yo, eh, no sé yo, eh, no sé yo, eh. Ay, Dios. And more recently, we're going fourth towards the Camelot Kings. Look, man, the Warriors in the situation they're in, they've got to they've got to roll got hot. It. You know, they've got to roll hot. That's their only option. And so they have to take risk after risk after risk in order to stay in it. And so you might look at vote like he's crazy. ¿Qué cojones acabo de ver? EFG, Ojito, se va a poner tenso esto, eh. Se va a poner tenso. Me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta. Un minuto, chavales, un minuto para la apuesta. ¿Habrá GG del tirón o no? Uh, esto me está poniendo muy, muy, muy perrote, eh. Ojito, porque Nika huele a muerto. Espérate, porque hace un montón de daño antes de morir. Hyo Chulti de, de Dardes. Ay, Dios, se está liando aquí, eh. 30 segundos Podrá defender Neiruma y Dardes Uh, ha estado tenso, eh Ha estado tenso, eh Ha estado tenso, eh Only has the one death there at the very end. Secures and steals away that EFG that the, the Warriors are trying to sneak away. The really impressive stuff from him in particular. But I overall, tenso, eh? I think I'm kind of impressed with what the Warriors were able to Agreed. do despite the loss. And I think, vale, predicción, chavales. Habrá una Artio Van. O meto cinco minutos de apuesta. In these games, because this was a team in all the rest of season eight, they've kind of beat up on the lower half of the league. Vale, cállate. Que tengo que echarme un clash. Que necesito un cofre. Vale, por favor, sin troleadas. Mierda, tío. Bueno, ha tirado el tronco mal. Yo voy a tirar esto por aquí. Y voy a tirar esto por aquí. Uf, gigante eléctrico. Gigante eléctrico y el mega gay. No me toquen los huevos, eh. Oye, pero eso qué mierda es. Pero habéis visto eso? ¿Cómo cojones defiendo esa mierda? Vale, tío. Okay. Esto no se gana ni de coña, eh. Ya, vamos.
Hay que ciclar una nueva Valkyria. Hermano, quita de ahí, tío. Otro infernal. Uf. Te falta una estructura. Es que la he quitado para poner la Valkyria, que me viene mejor, yo creo, pero vamos. Que me, me ha acojonado, tío. Me ha acojonado, tío. Ya, está súper close. ¿Para qué meto otra, tío? Ay, tío. Voy a perder otra vez. No, no, no. Mentalidad, mentalidad. Ay, mierda. Tiene que tirar el tronco Ay, no me toquen los huevos que se va para el mismo sitio Bueno, vale, buen daño ¿Qué le está pegando? La... Vale, solo una hostia Ese dragón con tanto gigante eléctrico es un poco sin sentido Es que no me ha salido tanto dragón eléctrico O sea, gigante eléctrico Yo, Sebas, muchas gracias, hermano. Vámonos, Juli, tú. Muchas gracias por esos cinco meses bien sexys. Vale, pues que me tire los guardias es un problema, la verdad. Porque tendría que empujar ahora la Valkyria o algo. Ay, Dios. La puta infierno encima. Voy a ver si me pone la Valkyria en algún sitio que no sea a la derecha. Ah, me tira por la de fuego. Ok, cojo. Perfecto. Estupendo. A ver dónde me tira el negro. Yo creo que a la izquierda me tirará el montag de esto, ¿no? Voy a ponerle esto por aquí de mientras. Vale. Voy a poner esto aquí. Si se muere solo. A ver. No, no tiene ni de coña la torre. Eso, eso se cae. Bien. Punto positivo. Con esto por aquí. Esto aquí. Esto aquí. Con esto por aquí. ¿Se ha rendido? Dime que sí, mami Vámonos, tío No juego más Que alguien me recuerde que no juegue más hoy, tío, por favor Ay, Dios Uf. Ya, ya, ya sé Ya sé que, o sea, la próxima, el próximo barril que iba a tirar Lo iba a tirar aquí en la esquina Fuera ya de aquí, tío, puto Clash Royale No voy a jugar más hasta dentro de 33 minutos con 20 segundos Cerramos, cerramos la app Venga para otra, hijo puta, tío ¿Cómo queréis, tío, que sufra, eh? Cuando Big Man Things y Genético estén en el Halo King serán imparables Yo creo que sí, hermano, o sea, sinceramente Bueno, del Genetics no va a haber mucho cambio pero el Big Man, o sea, si está haciendo esto con Ping, yo ya lo he dicho antes, es imposible, es imposible porque el Big Man nunca ha sido tan bueno. Es imposible que esté haciendo lo que está haciendo si tiene 150 de Ping. El Arkill jugaba en Francia con 120, 125. Con 120, 125 sí que me creo que esté jugando el Big Man. Con 125, 130 es bastante probable, teniendo en cuenta que el Big Man es bastante bueno, pero no tan bueno como para jugar tan bien con 150 ping. Es imposible. Es imposible. Y encima con magos. Ah, si me dijese que está jugando Artios y Catulus y mierda así, te lo compro. Pero con magos ni de coña está jugando con 150 de ping. Ni de puta coña. Ni de putísima coña Mínimo entre 115 y 130 Si no es imposible Entonces Si, es, si va a NA y va con 50 de ping Yo ni me imagino lo que hará este chaval no. ni, me lo, ni me lo imagino, tío La verdad eh, Ahora vengo, chavales, un momento, por cierto 
the kings aren't looking so hot towards the very end of it. So there's definitely. Me tengo que pedir algo de cenar y no sé qué cenar. Run back something very similar and still be successful. The question to me is, is the first pick on the Sylvanas. Estoy 100% seguro que Oni Warriors va a ganar esta partida y me va a tocar los cojones, ¿verdad? ¿Qué ceno, chavales? ¿Qué, ¿Qué me pido? ¿Qué me pido? ¿Qué me pido? Un kebab, no, gracias. Prefiero un McDonald's antes de un kebab. Es que... Y yo, el kebab, tío, es, es un problema, tío. ¿Por qué? Porque te recuerda al día que estuviste a las 5 de la mañana de fiesta, justo después de terminar los trimestrales, en segundo bachillerato, uno que te comiste así que era... Que sabía... Que, que supo a gloria. ¿Vale? Iba a decir que sabía a gloria, ¿eh? Que supo a gloria. Y, y es mentira, porque todos los demás te saben a mierda, tío. Una pizza, por ejemplo, mi madre me hizo una pizza el otro día, tío. Me dice, como no te la comas, te mato. Joder, qué, qué de variedad tengo, la verdad. Maybe towards support, probably not. Ay, la puta cam, tío. But now that it's on the Oni Warriors, maybe now we can see this RDO. Oye, ¿no ha habido Artio Bang en serio? Me están vacilando. Ah, coño, que le han fispicado a los Oni Warriors. Es raro pensar porque no va a ser hard carry on its own. But the setup, especially with Uller still being available, I think opens up a much wider conversation. You get two. Vale, predicción First Blood para Vale, tenéis 5 minutos, chavales Qué hijos de su recalcada puta madre Me quedo calvo La pedimos McDonald's Voy a pecar, voy a pecar, voy a pecar eh, vale, una cosa, chavales Esto lo tengo que dejar claro Esto lo tengo que dejar claro Pero clarísimo, además, lo tengo que dejar claro Un momento El que no se pida el menú Mac Aitana Que no me hable nunca más ¿Vale? Que no me hable nunca más Que no me hable nunca más Que no me dirija la palabra Oye, no, pero esto, esto es serio Esto es serio, esto es serio ¿Quién coño se pide un McPollo, tío? ¿Quién cojones? ¿Quién cojones se pide un McPollo, tío? Me quedo en calvo Dios cuando no estaba el CBO yo me pedía Mac Pollo. Exacto, cuando no estaba el CBO. Pero ¿quién iba al McDonald's cuando no estaba el CBO, tío? Hermano, ¿quién se come un Mac Pollo? Eso es plástico, tío. Plástico que sabe mal. Por lo menos el Big Mac o lo otro, tío, es plástico que sabe bien, ¿sabes? Es que no calmo, tío. Uf, voy a pedir un menú más caitana, tío. Ay, mira, tío. Coca-Cola. Uf, esto es mucho, mucho pecar ya. Bueno, Coca-Cola cero para que me pongan agua. Coca-Cola If Neil actually has his god just yet, so making sure to take a couple of those top picks off the table, of, namely one of Neil's top picks in this Kuzumbo, and then the net Yamoji, just because she's still one of those top supports the players are going towards, and the Neoni Warriors. Because no tengo ningún código ni nada, tío. Gonna be rounded in their jungle to take the Hunbots and the Dodgy off. Ah, ya tiene una promoción. Para ver si tengo. Here for the Kings, locked in in that fourth spot. ¿Cuánto te sale ahí en Europa el pedido que vas a hacer? Diez euros. Cuban Discordia. If you're going through the tier list of hey, what is going to be? Ahí ya no puede comer su Mac menú ahí. Eliaka, no jodas. Y una cosa, una cosa. Una cosa, chavales. Eh, ¿Cuál fue la polémica que salió por lo de la Itana? En plan, ¿qué pasó exactamente? ¿Por, por qué él empezó a caer un montón de mierda? 
and they were able to funnel a lot of damage. Hay 10 euros de cuento en tus próximos tres pedidos. Esto es del 20 de septiembre. Ah, mira, cojonudo. Ah, con un pedido mínimo de 25 euros. Por su puto muerto. La verdad, no te engañas. Dos por uno de Burger King. Cojonudo. Lo de que canceló un montón de conciertos, no, eso no. Killo, yo vi un montón, tío. Eh, yo vi un montón de peña, tío, que, que no para de tirarle mierda a esta señorita, tío, porque hizo una promoción del McDonald's. ¿Qué pasa, Rafa? O sea, es porque... Y yo, me, me, me está diciendo en serio que es porque ella no lo puede comer Y lo estaba promocionando John Quee to kind of round out the draft. How you feeling about it here, Gore? There's, I might be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure all of his wins are in the solo lane. Añade cero con treinta y cinco. Ahí tú muertos, tío. I know at least two of them, and he's only won three games. <laughs> two of those wins, although this is before this week. I can't even remember if he was picked. Que me añado un agua, ¿o qué, tío? Una hamburguesa un euro. Eso está bueno, tío. La hamburguesa. Comfortable. La hamburguesa de un euro está buena, chavales. El plástico. Te quita el hambre, está genial. Tú, pero sea la hamburguesa de un euro vale uno con treinta y cinco. Pero esto qué mierda es. Gapacho, tío Y yo Por favor, decidme que nadie de aquí Ha cogido el gapacho del McDonald's Por favor Por favor, decidme que nadie de aquí Se ha pillado Un gapacho, tío Unas patatas deluxe no, grandes, no, cojones Patatas deluxe medianas Bueno, Messi ¿Qué es salsa búfalo? No sé, no quiero saberlo Tiene toda la pinta que pica un huevo Gapacho helado No, oído Gapacho Imágenes la mierda esta de tomate y yo, como, o lo que sea, tío. Se... Sal morejo. Esto se, se confunde bastante con esto también. Eh, un popular opinión durante Andaluz. Esto es puta mierda. After this game, I'll make sure that uh, Katie, just for you, I'll make sure that he that he takes his medicine after this. But game number one here, still looking at the, kind of still kind of trying to dive in and, and really take a bite against these drafts. A lot of no me gusta nada. Yo es que soy muy especialito para comer, ¿vale? O sea, eso hay que eso hay que dejarlo ya claro, ¿sabes? Pero teniendo en cuenta que de eso da asco, lo demás ya ya me contáis lo que sea. Es como una sopa azteca No lo sé, tío, es tomate, loco No sé qué, qué ingredientes de... A ver, ingrediente gazpacho Tomate, pimiento verde, pepino, dientes de ajo, aceite... ¿Pan? ¿Quién le ponía pan a esto? A picatoste o algo así, ¿no? Pero pan Agua, sal y vinagre Ah, vinagre de Jerez además Ojito Es asqueroso Lo odio Lo odio O sea Si alguien quisiera torturarme eh, Aparte de cortarme las manos Eh... Darme de comer gazpacho sería una tortura psicológica demasiado, demasiado efectiva. Vale, a ver qué es lo que es, chavales. Dice que no te gusta el gazpacho en el pueblo y te Literal, mi tía me pegaba, tío, de, de, de niño. Yo decía que no me gusta esto y me metí una colleja. Te juro, eh. 
pivotally important. Era cojonante. Pero el Mac Gazpacho, tío. Oh, Dios mío. 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 Oh, Variety was able to get the better end with the audio in the early stages, but I think Mika definitely had. Ay, Dios mío, tío. ¿Quién qué cojones hace esta? Madre mía. Bueno, a esta por lo que sea no le ha ido muy bien en el colegio. Me va a traer al, me va a traer el McDonald's una una que estuvo en en mi clase. <risa> me quedo calvo, tío. No la he visto en cinco años, ¿eh? Bueno, por lo que sea, no le ha ido muy bien en la vida. Literal, me voy a quedar calvo, ¿eh? No es coña, no es coña, ¿eh? No es coña. Por favor, que no me reconozca, tío. Le das propina, ¿qué coño de ¿Qué dice? He dado propina dos veces en mi vida y no ha sido en Uber Eats. Igual sigue estudiando. Digamos que no saca muy buenas notas. Sale cámara oculta. Eh, no. Es guapa. Si fuese guapa no estaría en el Uber, no te preocupes. Estaría de modelo. Por cierto, ¿cómo sigo mi pedido? Ah, aquí. Hijo de la minita No sé, no me calla bien La verdad, Blan ¡Uh, cubo Fred, maybe! ¡Uf! ¿Qué hace el Dolson, tío? Yo va a ser súper incómodo, no me gusta nada Voy a salir con mascarilla o algo, ¿sabes? En plan, oye, yo tengo COVID Amiga del colegio me trae la comida y termina sexual. Amiga del colegio me trae la comida y no tengo con qué pagarle. Es free content, eh. Es free content. Amiga del colegio me trae la comida y yo le doy de comer. ¿Qué prefieres? ¿Comerte un pitote o un mac... Gazpacho, que es un pitote, tío Ah, un rabo Eh, hombre, si me lo pones así Prefiero una polla, la verdad Ah, no, coña Si es jugando en Might of Stream No puedo Me tienen los del FBI en el punto de mira Están esperando a que ponga eh, cómo, cómo enviar una bomba por correo y, y que juega Smite Me tienen ahí en el punto de mira, ¿sabes? Yo siempre que pido comida la recojo con mascarilla Yo la verdad es que... Yo la verdad es que no Yo la verdad es que no Tampoco es que haya pedido mucha comida, la verdad Tres, cuatro veces 3-4 veces O 3 No, 4 y tal Con esta 4 ¿Quién es el mejor tira ahora que tú no estás? Probablemente tú Yo soy un puto desgraciado, eh En verdad Es que en verdad soy un impresentable, tío o sea, yo cojo la comida y todo, todo he hecho una mierda Aquí porque estoy streameando, ¿sabes? Y más o menos Pues me ha tocado la ducha mensual Me ha tocado ponerme ropa, ¿sabes? Pero normalmente Voy en plan recién levantado, ¿sabes? Tipo, si la pido a las, a las 3 o así No es que esté recién levantado Pero como que... O sea, recién levantado de la cama, ¿sabes? En plan... Recién despertado, no Pero como que sí vagueo mucho en plan por la mañana ¿Quién cojones es productivo por la mañana? Nadie, tío No me gusta nada Hermano, y la fair blood, que lo que, tío Que me aburro, que necesito apuestas Tengo que apostar a ver Cuántas veces muere genético Al menos dinos que traes algo puesto debajo de la cam ¿Por qué te crees que quito la cam cada vez que me levanto? ¿Tú sabes el calor que hace aquí, hermano? 
even even once this early on in the game, but but twice, it's just got to be frustrating. Twig yet again left in the jungle here, without much mana. Blinks exchanged. Out goes Twig. Ah, no, la contó como ulti. Fields of love from Netrodoid, and the ultimate from Genetics. Neoman vote. I guess Neoma specifically retains his ult. Jump in from Kivo Fred. Muestra las marcas de la silla. Que tanto calor hace ya, 37 grados. Eh... Esto está mal. A ver. Mira, afuera hace 23 grados, pero esto es mentira. O sea, con el pepino que tengo yo aquí a la izquierda, mínimo hace 28 grados aquí, tío. Se hace una puta calufa, tío. Con el, con el ordenador este, hermano. Esto parece un horno, tío. He salido fuera un momento, tío. Y eso era la gloria. Con el pepino que tienes entre las piernas. Eh, no. Tuve un accidente y no tuve un computador. En México llega a los 50 grados con ese PC. La placa está a 50. Bueno, la placa o la tarjeta. No, la, la placa no, la tarjeta gráfica la placa. No sé ni lo que es la placa, tío. La tarjeta gráfica sí que está a 50 grados. Que se supone que está bien. Porque no tengo refrigeración líquida de esa. Que debería estar a menos, menos 20 grados, pero bueno. Como PC componente no se va a hacer nada bien. Pero bueno, a The Grefg la regalan el ordenador a, lo, a los 10 segundos. <risa> Para mí no, a mí me tardó un mes. grados y con lluvia. A mí, el, a mí el solecito que me gusta, hermano, es el solecito después de comer, tío. Pero solecito tranquilo, ¿sabes? El típico solecito de noviembre, octubre, tranquilo, cuando no está lloviendo. Ese solecito está bien, ¿sabes? Pero el típico solano, tío, de que no estás en la playa o en la piscina. Y dices, sácame de aquí, tío. Ojito porque Neiruba huele muerto. Hermano, Captain Tweet con las, con las troleadas, tío. ¿Por qué pones 7 minutos restantes? Si está aquí al lado ¿Qué se está comiendo? ¿Mide eso por el camino qué cojones? ¿Dónde vas, Nika? ¿Dónde vas? Oye, si escucháis la puerta me avisáis, ¿vale? Porque te voy a quitar la cam rápido Vio que eres tú No tengo foto O si tengo foto, no sé, no, creo que no Oye, que se ha quedado ahí para, eh Fuera coñas ¿Qué cojones haces? Tú que se está, se está comiendo mi, mi de esto Mi menú Macaitana, tío Se está poniendo guapa para ti, cállate, tío Es horrible hay gente que ha nacido guapa, tío, y otras, pues, que me van a traer el Uber, ¿sabes? ¿Está en el stream? Espero que no. <risa> Peluca rubia Es, es la típica que Que venía con mechones, tío eh, Rubio, rojo, en plan, todo el puto día, ¿sabes? Todo, todo el puto día teniéndose, tío Los mechones, tío, de pelo ¡Ay, Genetis, que no tiene bits! Uh, ojito porque esto le puede salir caro Cubo Fred se me muere también Ay, Dardef huele a muerto, eh Nice, no cap de Variety Ah, 
but in positional usage, Detroit's ultimate just stuffed that engagement perfectly. Yo, esa tiene un accidente o algo, eh. Eh, a quien le toca dar la first. Se ha muerto el genético, ¿no? Se ha muerto el genético, ¿verdad? Oye, se ha muerto genético, ¿no? No me troleéis, por favor, no me troleéis, tío Por favor, no No me troleéis Eh, a ver, un bip, un bip Un bip <risa> Se murió genético, ¿verdad? Vale, vale Hey, sometimes that's all you need to do. Netrio's job in this game is to that. not feed. Yep. That's that's really his role. But he's doing more than that. He he had that really good ultimate that that turned the course of that fight. Even though the Warriors get first blood, vale. Kings um, get more kills off of it because they have to walk in range of that fields of love. He did a good job there, forcing the beads. Vale, chavales, voy a meter un minuto la apuesta well, para la gol. A ver quién se la va a llevar. Y yo. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo, tío? Oye, si escucháis la puerta, me avisáis, ¿vale? Voy a quitar un casco. Por si. Sí. Me voy a hacer un subnormal con esto así. ¿eh? Yo creo que se lo está comiendo ella. ¿eh? ¿Qué opinas de Nika? Que muy bien, pero que deje jugar, tío. Yo yo te veo nervioso Hombre cabrón Quiero mi comida uh, ¿Cómo cojones se ha muerto la ulti del Neiruma tú? Hey, yo JJ muchas gracias por esos 8 eh, Lo siento tío eh, lo siento A lo mejor está recogiendo otro Pero es que no sé dónde coño está Ahí que coño hay Estará recogiendo otro ¿Y por qué coño pone entonces que va el que viene de camino? ¿Qué eres? ¿Tonta? Ojito la gol, maybe, para Oni Warriors Cuidado, eh Ay, Fury Qué bien Hermano, sois unos putos pringados, tío A ver, un minuto para el piro, mano, chavales No paráis de perder, eh Ay, no me da tiempo Que mid Mata antes Dardes Big man things Tenéis un minuto Mejor una apuesta de tu comida, ¿no? Porque eso se puede retrasar bastante, la verdad Le envío un mensaje Le pongo ¿Estás aquí? Acércate hasta mi puerta Estoy esperando fuera Es que me ha puesto Hay 27 que venía de camino Son y 30 y, y 30 O sea, hay 23 me ha puesto que venía de camino Y son y 33 Y no se ha movido del sitio ¿Le pongo algo? No quiero, la verdad Igual es muy tarde, ¿no? Pero ya la has recogido Y de que en Pabili Mi pedido está llegando Pero que no está llegando Mentira, cochina Ojo, Nika se me muere 
Nice es tú. Qué bien, me gusta cuando las cosas salen bien. Ojito, Darde se puede rapiñar la primera kill aquí, maybe. Ojito, Captain Twig. Y first kill por Darde. ¿Quién ha votado 100k por Big Man? Erwin, tío. Madre mía, tío. Vale, predicción. Me acabo de dar cuenta que hay un cupido, tío. Que ADC mata antes. Bote, Metroid. Tenéis un minuto, chavales. He llegado, me pone. Ahora vengo. Me quedo calvo, tú. But a well-laid plan by the Camelot Kings will finally kill the Jean Cui for the second time this game. I do. I want to shine a light on, on the moment there on left. Vote simply standing there, enough to force out the fields of love from Netrio. Well, he was standing there, menacingly. menacingly. Right. Yeah, you are. You already know. I watched like six episodes of SpongeBob last night. It was. It was this really makes so much sense now. We How get so? the we get the 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 Bofa yellow buffs earlier on. Huh? Immediately into the standing there menacingly. Just makes sense. You know what this reminds me of is that no, this is only no, tracks. This go only ahead. tracks for you and I. Please go ahead. <laughs> only I tracks insi for you and I. I insist. A moment ago, you said the freezing cold north, uh -huh. and I thought about how I want to be up there with you and Robin Ma, shredding the oh, shredding yeah, the, the story of, of us Canada. kicking and legs. Write the three musketeers <laughs> gift that we use under all the replies yeah, for one another. Gift. Kivo Fred in on the red buff. He's alone Whoa. here, Captain Twig. He wants to fight. He'll assassinate in on the Kibo still Fred. Still going? He is still going, but now he'll turn on away. Fields of Love out from Netrioid. And that has cut off this entrance path. Vote Nilma not wanting to walk right up the gut there. Will end up backing away. BMT ends up getting his red buff. Nilma out and forward, but alone. He'll bash away and prevent any further fighting. And that is the first red buff Big Man Tings has gotten since the start of the game. Because it was a successful invade when, when we weren't sure if Fred got it. it, it the second respawn, or the first respawn. Yeah, you're right. It's been a minute. That has been the first one since, which is crazy to think about. Wild. Neoma gets a root on the Netrioid. Vote is low here as well. And this is when the, the Oni Warriors feel like they're at their scariest. When Neoma, and, and we, we, we had plenty of conversation about this in game one. When Neoma is able to play that in your face, force you back, style of play where the rest of the Oni Warriors can funnel in with you. That, that's when this team is terrifying, and you got a great pick in Dardes who wants to funnel in with you. And I, we always have a conversation about what relics you need. <laughs> you know what you Ya estamos, ya estamos. Make for the fourth link. Eh, agradecido con el de arriba, no sabía quién era. Eh, es que me ha hecho un montón de gracias, tío, porque mientras estaba yendo, yendo a recoger la comida, hermano, me estaba imaginando, tío, cómo ibais a reaccionar. Eh, al, al yo volver, ¿sabes? Y me he empezado a descojonar yo solo, tío Y le he abierto la puerta riéndome, tío Me quedo calvo Por cierto, mata al Metroid, ¿eh? Ey, yo, ¿por qué perdéis siempre, tío? En plan, el porcentaje es siempre horroroso, ¿eh? Vale, a ver, ¿quién se va a llevar el Fire? Ah, no, la gol Bueno, no, el Fire, paso, paso To avoid a lot of the damage from vote. Neoma dashes forward. Two minutes, chavales, para votar por el fire. Captain Twig, are we going over the wall? Cabrón, que si ha matado. Hola, si tiene un puto uno. Neoma will sustain himself up. Si tiene un puto uno. Let this one go quietly. Two in a row for Big Man Tink from the red buffs at the very least. Things are looking up. They're starting to look up. No, es coña Que no la tenía Si tenía, eh, si había 0-0 Si había 0-0 Y yo no me toquéis los huevos, tío Si había 0-0, cabrones eh, Si era 0-0 Que no me toquéis los huevos, tío Me estáis troleando Os habéis puesto todo de acuerdo, eh Ya está, tío Os habéis puesto todo de acuerdo, tío Os habéis puesto todo de acuerdo No hagas pavos, tío o sea, encima, tío, de que me hacéis ver A mi ex compañera Que por cierto, está obesa ahora Se ve que el, el Uber East, Pues le da bien de comer 
Os ponéis sos de acuerdo, me quedo calvo, tío. Te lo juro, ella. They do in the HP bar HP, department, yep. but it's beads, beads yep. on genetics that go down. So, so cabrón, cabrón, no, tío. Que estaba la típica que se metía con el de mi clase que era gordo, tío. Te jode. <laughs> ¿Cómo cambian las cosas, tú? ¿Cómo cambian las cosas? Ojito. Oye, ¿en serio no tenía la kill? En serio no tenía la kill y yo en serio no tenía la puta kill, tío Voy a tener que rezar otra puta vez para que Netroid mate a alguien Es coña, ¿no? Me estáis vacilando, ¿no? Voy a tener que rezar y yo para que Netroid mate a alguien otra puta vez. Y yo, Farid, ¿me están vacilando o no? Eres el chivato de la clase, lo siento. ¿Me están vacilando o no? No me están vacilando Ay, Dios, tío ¿Y yo por qué pensaba que iba 0-0, tío? Bueno Confi Confiemos en que Netroid mate a alguien Bueno, ha asegurado el piro ¿Eso sirve? Por favor, que mate a alguien de Troid, tío Por favor, tío, no quiero cagarla, hermano <risa> Bueno, cagarla he cagado Si, si mata a Bote Lo que pasa es que hay un 50-50 bastante... O sea, no es un 50-50 porque el bote tiene un carajo de daño. No va a matar ni de coña el cupido antes. ¿Qué hago? Es que no puedo hacer nada tampoco. Y yo lo pensaba que tenía cero kills, tío. Es la miseria, Juli, además me hunden más Tengo ni un K de puntilla Estoy en la miseria Y además me hunden más Te hubiéramos avisado si hubiese ocurrido Y yo, pero hey, Yo, Wager Muchas gracias, hermano, por ese Prime Loco, no sé, tío eh, No sé No sé por qué pensaba que, que iban los dos a DC con cero kills, tío Lo siento, tío eh, Ahora necesito que mate Netroid a alguien ¿Cómo pasé de 30k a 10? Bueno, eso ha sido mala suerte, yo creo No, no. Uf. Sí, sí, por favor. Sí, 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 sí. No. 
No. Fortnite and jump on out from Cubo Fred. Twig's gotta leave. Boat does as well. So, so those small moments, we've seen that once or twice. Twig tries to engage on Vote. Vote turns around all the damage, and then Twig's got to leave. If that, those are the types of moments where these games can really shift and turn. If that's clean from Twig and less clean from Vote. <laughs> Necesito que Netroy mate a alguien. Netroy, tío, si me estás escuchando, por favor. Por el amor, por el amor de Dios, tío. And I say good news. I mean this for the Camelot Kings. ¿Por qué quieres que el Android mate? Porque la he cagado, tío. He dado la, he dado la, la puesta sin, sin... Sin... Sin que hubiese pasado nada. Y encima era el negativo. O sea, era el que iba en negativo, ¿sabes? El que tenía menos porcentaje. Entonces le he hecho perder un montón de puntos a la peña. Eh, y no quiero. Porque ya lo he hecho como 24 veces. So we will shift our dancing onto the dance floor on the right side of the map around the fire giant pit. And we hung out for a little while here in the last game. Maybe, you know, five, ten minutes or so. We just kind of hung out. And the initiation aggro kind of looks similar this game. I mean, outside of you, you got Loki on one side, you got Sarket on the other. The match is some big differences. The match is not a server as in an RDO. Before it was already pre-graded. The SML is pre-graded. Aquí filtrando. Esto tiene como 3 minutos de retraso o así. Eh, Netroid, por el amor de Dios, tira bien los relics. No hagas mierda como sueles hacer con los relics. No te marques un Warchi, por favor. Mata a alguien. Si puede ser antes de que te mate a alguien, mejor. Por favor, tío. A Cubo Fred, Cubo Fred seguro que trolea, por favor. Ese me da lo mismo que ese CC, sí. Considering a rotation towards left, but if this is something only warriors start up, you're going to be fighting. Without your jungler, also opens up the opportunity though for Twig to either push down this tower in mid or find a roundabout route into the back line of this fight for free. He could just blink. That's a lot of damage. Didn't find anything, so Twig gets this tier two tower without any sort of concern about what is happening elsewhere on the map. Eh, Twig, como te mate el bote, te voy a meter una paliza, tío. Gracias. Head stage left. Well, kind of walk himself into a potential red buff. So the rest of the Camelot Kings pull off the Fire Giant, and the Oni Warriors do so. Por el Julio como sufre, pero sufro por tonto, tío. Sufro por imbécil. Where the Oni Warriors, you know, you know that Twig is mid. How fast can we really do this FG? Well, our burn isn't necessarily better than it was last game. We got a Jean Kui in mid, Uller, to provide a lot of that damage, and so it probably would have taken way too long, given Twig a chance to rotate in around the back. So wards will go out. Deep ward coverage for the Oni Warriors and the Camelot Kings, for that matter. Uh, oracles for the Camelot Kings are around this fury. And it looks like reset is the call, and reset we will. We're 27 minutes in. Last time I brought this up, we were two a minute and a half away from an. ¿Y qué pasa si el bote hace la primera kill? Pues que la peña me va a insultar, tío. Me van a decir, estás vendido, tongo, tongo, no sé qué, y me van a tocar los cojones. Si mata el Netroid, por lo menos. Seven and a half fours. Yeah, something like that. Right around there. Yeah, that that'll do it. Okay, right around there. This jump in from Neil Ma here. Stun will be there. Half HP, but we know that Neil can sustain up just fine on this Terra and the rest of the Camelot Kings here as well. Twig does have to be careful because. Mi hacienda me quitó tanto. No, 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 no. No, no, Netroid, no te mueras. But Cubo Fred will have to jump away. Netroid does. No está el bote. Cuidado, Variety. Cuidado, subnormal. Yes, he can. Great. No está el bote. ¿Dónde está el bote? Netroid, no te mueras. Netroid, no te mueras, por favor. No, por favor. Has lost a whole lot of HP. A double kill for Captain Twig, the Loki, obnoxious to say the least on the back. Netroid, por favor. Has picked up two, but Nika still strong in the midst of three for the Camelot Kings. Variety looking for damage on a Neil as Vote. Cuidado con el hacha, cuidado con el hacha, cuidado con el hacha. Dasea, dasea para adelante, dasea para adelante. Sin miedo, sin miedo. Sin miedo, sin miedo, miedo Netroy, por favor. ¡Vamos! A chuparla, comiendo los huevos. 
Uf, no mal, tío. Dios, qué tenso, tío. Qué tenso, tío, qué tenso. Soy un genio del marketing. Todo esto lo hago a posta, por cierto. ¿eh? Es acojonante, tío, es espectacular. Todo esto lo hago a posta, tío. Ah, mira, una apuesta que ganáis, menos mal. El Five se lo hacen los Kings. Ojito, porque bote huele a. ¡El bote huele a Steel! ¡No! Yo, mira, mirad, por favor, mirad dónde tenía el ratón. Mirad dónde tenía el ratón. Con Kings, eh. Mirad dónde tenía el ratón con los Kings. Me quedo calvo, eh. Me quedo calvísimo, chaval Bueno, no ganáis una apuesta, eh Sois unos fracasados, tío Eso sí que no tenía arreglo, eh, cabrón Eso sí que no tenía arreglo, eh Eso sí que no tenía arreglo, eh ¡Ojo, ojo! ¡Date con la triple! ¡Date con la penta, baby! Vale, chavales, tenéis un minuto para votar. ¿Habrá GG antes del minuto 40? ¿Sí o no? Y una cosa, vaya pedazo de games, ¿no? Oye, con vuestro permiso Yo ha sido mordífero, eh Quizá antes del 40 es demasiado No Porque se tienen que hacer el siguiente fire Tú le vas a enseñar a fútbol a, a Messi de fútbol, hermano Pregunto, eh No, pregunto ¿No ves que no van a atacar ni nada? Van a estar chilling tienen torres que tirar todavía y se tienen que ir a hacer el siguiente fire. Ah, pues huele a que van a ir a por el Fénix, eh Ay, Dios, estoy muy incómodo, tío <risa> Me van a trolear, de verdad, no, no ¿Qué hace y el G? ¡Oh, huge! ¡Huge teamfights! ¡Uh, eso va a salir fatal para Oni Warriors, eh! <risa> ¿Será allí? Oh, no. 
is going to delay as well as he can, but it's not going to be well enough. Neoma is going to be alone in base in the Camelot Kings. They get four kills. They've got 35 seconds to walk down mid. I mean, it could be close for Dardes to come up. Dardes it, 29. They I got mean, three Phoenixes. Twig three towers still up. Red, and he's back. Are they not trying to end? Surely they could have ended from there. Best tío. Soy espectacular. Soy espectacular. Tío, las Aitana huelen muy mal, tío. Blink in and go full spooky season on. Okay, it. Tío. Instead, they spread out. Si man caído, really far back, por far away from Netroid, they use their movement, their willing to, to give up a little bit. Neoma walking forward, fields of love. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank God. Le llega a robar el fire, me quedo calvo. Eh? For, uh, for the sake of your eardrums, that one doesn't get stolen away. I would have lost it. And Neoma gave himself a chance, but this enhanced fire giant confirmed by the Camelot Kings. When you got all five on it, and it's a little more telegraphed, the direction of the steel attempt, easier to secure it for yourself. So mid lane, Phoenix still down, but we're spawning shortly. No fury no for the only warriors sabe, no? to take here, but you could lay a trap. Pings are out, though. Yeah, I was gonna say, they did this there. last game. That's the thing, is that when you play back-to-back -back games that are very oh, similar, you, I'm nervous. You've got to be ready aggro. for it. You gotta, well, it's spooky season. It's spooky season in Dardes. Spooky right season. I mean, they know where Ardio is, I'm not... Yeah, Nick is not here by himself. Yeah, right. Yeah, he, he's not psycho. You guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, out of position again. But they're going... Are they going to go around the back? You've afraid... I Yuma wonder if they try and base race them. I don't think they the base race, because uh, EFG just matters too much. Okay, no, you see the backs coming out from the Oni Warriors, and it looks like the attempted fight not to be. The early pings there enough for the Camelot Kings to know that the Oni Warriors were somewhere on that side of the map. Hey, the good news is... What's that? A minute and ten seconds are off of this enhanced fire giant already, and True. you've just now lost your first big uh, base-wise objective. There's a chance as well for a jump in when you have four four blinks. I, I suppose moments like this. Hermano, voy a tener que poner una servilleta debajo de la cocoda, tío. Jump in on an unsuspecting target. Yeah, that's the difference here for the kings. That now they have to be very wary of how grouped they are. They were able to use, you know, the, the, the back end of the defensive side, Phoenix. In previous seasons, that ya fue minuto 40, no. So you could still kind of fish in a barrel the enemy right. team as they were trying to retreat, oh. but it's so wide back there now that it's kind of hard oh, to do. Are they going to get back? That's the big question now. Genetics and Netroid started their best. Base, todos van a tolerar ahora. From the only warriors is here in force. Genetics is not the target. Netroid is. He's got both actives. Beads get used. Fields of love down. Agus around the corner. Agus used. Ojo. Dash on out. Netroid plays it as well as he can. But it's Uy. not going to be enough. The heart bomb on the other end of it will take down. Van a finishar los otros, maybe. Further, Fred will die, and Genetics able to trade out one. And in the mid lane, go Twig and Variety. Yeah, that's not bad. But you lose Netroid, which stinks, though. Darda is still here, though. You can defend this mid lane, Phoenix. Still has beats. Me da puta última tira al Variety, tú. Oh What? He can find a fade away as well. It's not only vote. ¿Qué cojones la matado? Twig says see you later, but he blinks away and gets out of this engagement a stun on the Nika big man team chases up. Apple is out on the audio as well, but look at the massive healing numbers from Nika who will rumble on away axe out from vote. Ojo el Twig. Captain Twig and Twig is not caught. Twig's got another Neumon vote against the world. No finish him again. He's got to do it to them all, but Twig. No finish him. Jump is still up. Vote. Might be able to do it. Downs? Where are those cooldowns? You gotta turn around. Misses the axe. Neoma finds a stun. No, but four members of the Camelot Kings onto the Titan. They've got enough damage. But do they have the HP? Vote in. Jumps on into the fight. Why not? But he wow. gets chipped on away. Unstoppable as Captain Twig. Absurd. Well, that was a crazy <laughs> game, man. <laughs> what, a, what a fun set. That Pensaba que el bot iba a salvar el... Iba a salvar el game. Vaya pedazo de partida, cabrón. Han estado súper guapas. No me hubiese importado para nada ver otro game de este set, la verdad. Ha estado mantequilla, eh. Ha estado súper guapo, tío. Vale, a ver. Joseamos a alguien de Smite. Decidme a alguien, chavales.
Lo, ay, los puntos, es verdad. Eh, no ha sido GG antes, ¿no? Así, ah, coño. Eh, vale. Voy a hostear a Smite. Mm, qué calvo. ¿Está Dalting? No está Dalting, cabrones. O el calvo es Heiser, no, no. <coughs> vale. Eh, pues no voy a josear a nadie. Que os den por culo. Pues nada, chavales. Eh, voy a dejar el stream por aquí. Voy a ir a cenar tranquilito. Y me voy a ir a dormir. En una hora o así. Porque se apoya. Así que nada, chavales. Nos vemos mañana. El viernes que viene con más SPL, por cierto. Y no, no voy a josear a Mike Game porque me van a, me van a banear de por vida otra vez. Así que nada, chavales. Eh, lo dicho, nos vemos mañana. Muchas gracias por el streaming. Bonitas partidas. Esperemos que los marginados de YouTube vean estos buenos sets. Y. Es broma, eh, no me toquen los cojones. Y nos vemos mañana. Adiós.